Warner Brothers player. Old school pimps like Roosevelt Taylor. The list goes on for like three generations. Oakland pimp shit, all in your face, man. Some other cities take pride in tripping. You can hear when the rappers start spitting. Instead of you and your woman getting money together, you do all the hustling and she gets all the chess. You tell her go shop, but she ain't got a job. Then you brag in your raps. To me, it sounds odd. Cause I was raised by pimps in the O They taught me real good how to send a hoe And now you niggas trying to bend the rules You must have came up around some friendly dudes You need to stop doing all that extra sipping And change the words in your song in respect to pimping You got money but you got no pay They call the ladies wanna love you But you ain't got no money All I wanna be is well known now. Drive a lap, Big Mac, and do my own style. Keep a freak on the street that fit the profile. Had to pay money stack, watching no pal. Reminiscing of a player that I once knew. He had it all, went broke, but he still kept it true. Bounce back like a real man, got a new sack, new hoes, new clothes, and found a new track. Now that's a player that I always want to be like. Did dirt, went to church, and lived the street life. Ask show, ask Snoop, we gon' take you the truth. A real pimp, keep a prostitute. And she get lots of look, do what she got to do. Come back with the moolah, like she supposed to do, and stay close to you. So if you ever fail, here's the one most important thing about this tale. Ask Michelle, Tammy and Nell. When they went to jail, they know who came through with that bail. It was me, cause I respect the people. Do the same, don't be no lame, respect the game. Bear with me uh, for one more song. Still getting things together. Hold on for a minute. There we go. Affectionately known as Bulldog the Son. My brother was far from dumb, back it was his game of choice. And I'd give a million dollars just to hear his voice. One more good kid, tell me, can we win in a city full of sin? Where Jekyll can find his hide in a bottle of gin? I gotta move on, but sometimes I can't wait, cause my loved ones gon' be there at the game. Feeling me on 92.3, 92.3. That beat Mr. Theo and me, sugar free, clue dog on the beat, 92.3. I'm squeezing on an empty pack of tools Looking for a square, dropping fast down to 101 But going nowhere, God, let me get my mind back I can barely think, and I only seem to be normal When I got a drink, Kelly to the mall Trying to be myself without looking weak Always the first to speak Looking outside for my inner peace So I'm gonna go, kick back and listen to the grass run uh-huh. 92.3, 92.3 The beat is the deal with me Sugar free, clue dog, for the beat 92.3 this is dedicated to the family of Mr. Darrell Cortez Reed. You know I loved you, baby boy, but God loved you a whole lot more. You know I knew you and your mama made you make up your bed. Now when I'm here saying sugar, what you got on the spread? Playing carrots at the school, making show like this. And what would our mama say if they see us tripping like this? Don't let my record don't be the reason you call me your homie. I got a million something fans and money, but still call me. Imagine having Kenny and everything, but living out of touch. Cause people would take you for granted that love you so much. Sometimes I don't even know who to trust. Jesus, can you take this nigga off my hand and pray for us? God bless my mama, my sister, quick, you bubba, tone and stand in the name of the Father, the Son, the Spirit, amen. Thank you too. Thank 
you. Do you have a vote for the foreplay? Uh huh. What do you want to do? I'm a camera. The boy is mine. Okay, I might even be able to get that on before then for you. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Station with the flow, ninety-two point three. Hi, Theo. Hi. How are you? Fine. Who's this? It's Christine. Hi, Christine. How are you? Fine. How are you? I just wanted to tell him, you know, that you're doing a very good job. Thank you. You're welcome. You been talking to my mother or something? No, not your mom. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Okay. Bye. bye. Station with the flow, 92.3. Hey, I just want to thank you for playing that late night last night. Oh, don't worry about it, dude. It was a... All right, man. Glad that everybody's up in here. You know what I mean? Appreciate you. Of course, I wanted to kind of go late night. You know what I mean? Because this wasn't so much about the views. Of course, you know, uh, a good time would be to go at five or six or seven or eight or even nine at that time. But I wanted to talk to the night folk. You know what I mean? Because I know that most of the people that be up at night is the people that, you understand me, is either in the lifestyle or curious about the lifestyle or in some other lifestyle within the streets. So let's hit that like button before I even get started. Let's hit that like button. You know what I mean? Uh, Get them likes up. Let's get them likes over 100. Come on, man. It's 122 people already watching. I haven't even got started yet. You know what I mean? You already know that YouTube do not push my notifications like that. You already know. So, you know what I mean? If if you see that an individual is about this game, and if I've said anything that is beneficial to you, if I said anything that was edifying, if I said anything that was inspirational, if I've ever given you enlightenment, you know, when I go live, man, make sure you hit the like button. When have I ever done a week live? When have I ever done a video, man, that didn't uh, have any game within it? So by all means, man, hit the like button as soon as you go live. You know what I mean? Subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you know what I mean? Hit that like button. Make sure that uh, you hit the share button as well. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, I need as many shares and likes as I can get, man. I'm talking about this game. You know, I mean, you know, it's so many people that want to end up joining this. And let me say this. Look, I appreciate the game. Thank you, game. Um, listen, for those of you that are not getting notifications for when I go live, what you need to do is unsubscribe from the channel and then subscribe again and then click on the bell. So unsubscribe from the channel and then subscribe to the channel again and click on the bell. And I assure you that you will get notifications Whenever I go live, you know what I mean? Pretty, pretty much. Hold on. Extended, man. My brother Clips, man. What's going on? We in here coming in with that 299 Christian, man. I thank you for a whole bunch of ones. Be the whole bunch of nuns any day, man. You know what I mean? Uh, I tell people all the time, 5, 10, 20, 100, don't matter. You know what I mean? A whole bunch of ones be the whole bunch of nuns. If, if you ever have an individual who's standing up for something, especially in this time, we don't have nobody representing this game. You know, we don't have nobody that's conveying it, you know what I mean? Especially with the way God has blessed me to convey it. No, we don't. And that's one thing that I would like to change because we need more. And a multitude of counsel, there is safety. So we need to do some things to make this game better because we got... Peas, young peas, real authentic young peas that's in prison right now, that's in jail right now. And it didn't have to be. They didn't have to be locked up. They didn't have to be messed up. Shouts out to Turf. See my nigga Antone up in here, Slim, Tyshawn, Kevin, uh, Benjamin that came up in here, Game Tight, Joe Frank, True from Troy, Sugar Snap, Mr. Norm. What's happening, man? Uh, my nigga Adam Guy, you know what I mean? Uh, let me see, Lamar then came up in here, Montana, RC, what's going on with my nigga RC, Elohim Beats, Res G, Superfly, Omnipotent Goldie, what's going on, Goldie, what's going on, bro? You know what I mean? Uh, SW33T3R Man then came up in here, Antonio, Marcus Mitchell, FTOG TV, 
Blessings to you. Swabbed and came up in here. Marcus Mitchell. Black Cloud. Hold on. Let me go up some more. Extraordinary Gentleman. Richard Sims. What's going on? Brandon Neal. What's happening? Lex Diamond. What's happening, man? Just have to say blessings to my people. Make sure you hit the like button. Because you know once I get started, I get into a flow. So, man, hit that like button. By all means. Come on, man. Get the likes over 100. Come on. We have 57 likes. And it's 158 people watching. Come on, man. I know it's midnight. I know that most of y'all in the bed farting. I know that most of y'all wanted to watch this game, but your girlfriend wouldn't allow you. You know what I mean? Your wife, your boo thing, boobita, sugar lumpy plump wouldn't let you sit up there and watch this live. I understand. You got to sneak and watch this live when your bride is at work. You know what I mean? Hold on. Let me put that there for you. Bam. But... <clears throat> We have so many that's getting locked up. We have so many right now that's in jail with $3,000 bills, $5,000 bills, $10,000 bills. How is that? You know what I mean? How is young peas facing life sentences, facing 20 and 50 years, and all his bill is is $5,000? And certain individuals that profess to be pimps, they the pee partners of individuals like this. And there's no type of, you know, money that's given for P's bail. Or if you ain't pimping like that, if you're not as, you know, financially blessed as you desire to be at that particular time, then by all means, brother, uh, put something on his books. If you can spare 50, if you can spare 100, Tyshawn, thank you for the five, bro. Blessings. You know what I mean? But whatever you can give to be a blessing to Pete, by all means, be a blessing to the ism. Be a blessing to this game. We got young peas who are coming in contact with sexually transmitted diseases. And some of these events could have been avoided. That didn't have to be. But we so divided as, you understand me, a community. We so divided as a people within the game. You know what I mean? Nobody taking out the time to actually lace, you know what I mean, these young peas up. You know what I mean? And yes, it does happen. And Mr. Norm, I, I, I'm glad that, you know, you got a sense of humor tonight. But no, uh, that's not funny, brother. I'm coming through here tonight. Uh, SW33T3R, man, thank you, man. Pronounced sweeter, man. Uh Two for the show. Okay, well, well, blessings to you, man. You know what I mean? Some people think, I don't know, brother thought that was slick. But we have young peas that are coming in contact with sexually transmitted diseases. That's not funny. And we have older peas who had these type of experiences. But because they have to lie or feel like they have to lie, and they tell these out of these world perfect experiences within the game. They sit up there and talk about all of the times when they was high pimping in the game. They can't even reach the youth because they they refuse to give the youth the truth because they feel like that will sit up there and blemish or diminish the image, you know what I mean, that they have created amongst the youth. But some of these so-called older peas, they can came in contact you know, with gonorrhea before. They didn't came in contact with chlamydia before. You know what I mean? Hold on. Oh, okay. Well, blessings to you, uh, Courtney. If that's you, bro, that was uh, on my IG live, you watching uh, from the pen. And blessings to all of the convicts, you know what I mean, that's watching in the pen and all the inmates, you know what I mean, that just might be watching me. You know what I mean? From jail, man. Blessings to all y'all. I got even some encouragement and enlightenment coming up, you know what I mean, for my brothers that's in confinement in the future. Um, but, you know, just to be, hold on, I don't think it's division as much as a lack of lead caused by the game plan in the background. I don't even know what you're trying to, trying to say. I, I know what you're trying to say, but no, brother, it's division. Anybody that's really in the game know that there's discord. They know that it's uh, division. You know what I mean? I'm not, you know, I appreciate your opinions, but just sit back and listen and be blessed, brother. Um, 
for the authentic participants in the game, after you have lived this lifestyle for years, you've seen division amongst the pimping. You got certain so-called Cali pimps that dislike pimps from Memphis. You got the pimping that's from Memphis, some peas from Memphis that dislike, you know what I mean, peas and Cali. You know what I mean? All because they from California. You know what I mean? They have uh, uh, individuals just because they from a certain region. You know what I mean? They just dislike this individual. This individual can't be the pimping because this individual come from a certain region. You know what I mean? I don't like the way he dress. I don't like the way he talk. I don't like the way it is. You know what I mean? Just division to keep us separated from one another. And as I have said in times past, and I'm going to say it again, if you got the police is against us, and we know the system is against us, the government, you know what I mean? I can go on and on on the other side. They're against us. Okay? People in society against uh, is against us. People in religiosity is against us. And then for us to be against us, that don't make no sense. That don't, got, that don't make no sense for us to be against us. That don't make no sense for us to put out hatred, you know, for another pimp. You know what I mean? Superfly, super bro, I, I, I uh, appreciate you, brother, but this is a very serious message. Uh, guys, slow down with the uh, Yahoo email address uh, jokes. All the little uh, Google Chrome jokes and shit like that, you know. Spare me tonight. I'm very serious right now. And this is a very sensitive, serious subject that I'm speaking on. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. But no corny jokes tonight, guys. Keep them corny jokes to yourself. Um, but let me let me also say this. When you have, because as you know, for those of you that are subscribed to my Instagram live videos, you see the live that I just did uh, not too long ago with a woman. She said, you supposed to be born with it. You you supposed to be born with it. You supposed to be born with it. You supposed to be born with it. And no, you're not born with it. We're not born pimps. We're conforming to what we've been informed about. We're not born pimps. Because if you was born a pimp, you would have been born a man. As I keep saying, one of the prerequisites in order to be a pimp is to be a man, as the incomparable, honorable Mel Taylor has said in times past. So if you wasn't, if you didn't come out your mama's pussy as a man, you wasn't born a pimp. And nobody has come out their mama's pussy as a man. So nobody was born a pimp. As I've stated in times past, because of our individuality, because of our capabilities, because of our high, you know what I mean, intellectual capabilities, because of our, you know, this beautiful mind that we have, because of who we are, because of how we were raised and reared, and certain capabilities that we have, you know what I mean, it made us good for the game. So once we were blessed with the game, we was able to produce in the game once we got it. Because we already had certain characteristics that was good for the game. Period. So now that I'm, 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 I'm dumb that I'm getting to a point. You know what I mean? Us. Hold on. Let me let me put that right there. There we go. Because as with the scripture has said, I told you in times past, man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. So no, nobody was born to pimping. So she said... You got to be born with it. You supposed to be born with it. None of us was born with it. So the youth that's coming in the game, they not coming in the game with the game. I didn't come in the game with the game. That pimp that you look up to that you think that's a, a god and all of that, he didn't come in the game with the game. Some because they had fathers and uncles and 
you know, cousins that was in the game, they had certain information before they did certain participation in the game. But have the game in totality? No, you're going to have to go through some experiences. Your feet got to touch concrete. You got to get outside. It's a difference from listening to your father, your uncle, and your cousin and all of that. And that's fine and dandy. But you still got to go outside and pimp. And until you go outside and have your own personal experiences, you know, that's just, you know, some information that basically haven't been manifested. You know what I mean? So she was like, you know, it's you should be you should be born with it. You should be born with it. And I had to, to let her know that no, none of us are born with it. And the youth, they're not born with it. So because the youth is not born with it, and because the youth didn't come in this game with the game. Whenever they do something contrary to the game, we got to stop acting like it ain't never been done before. We got to stop acting like I didn't do it. We got to stop acting like you didn't do it. He, this P didn't do it. Oh, man, these young niggas today, man, they so stupid. Oh, man, these young niggas today, they not pimps. All oh, these young niggas today. How are you any different? than any other older person in every other lifestyle. How many of you have taken out the time and created something to be a blessing to the youth? You got a lot of niggas bitching about what I do. Oh man, I would never do that. I could, man, I would never do that. Give up the game like that. Let me say something. Majority of them niggas that be saying that, if they could do what I do, they would do it. But because they're incapable of doing it, they don't do it. They don't even try because they know it's a waste of time. You got to have personality to do what I do. You don't have no personality. You got to have intellect to do what I do. You don't have that. Most of you own drugs. You don't study. You don't speak proper English. You, This ain't for you. You know what I mean? You're not a teacher. You know, just because you're knowledgeable of something, that don't mean that you're a speaker. There's a lot of people who are were knowledgeable and wise, but they didn't have the, the gift to preach and teach and to minister. No. You know what I mean? So just to be all the way 100, if they could, they would, but they're incapable. So they have to be on the sideline hating. It is what it is. But how many of you have taken out the time on a blade or wherever to basically sit down with the young pimps? or the young men or young niggas who are endeavoring to be pimps and actually lace them. Because if some actually knew the consequences, the crucifixions that awaited them, the adversity that awaits them, the correctional facility that may await them, they wouldn't even participate in the game. You know what I mean? They wouldn't even, okay, Marcus, you one of them. You know what I mean? But it's not too many. It is not too many. You know what I mean? No, Joe, just sit back. And uh, to the third one, thank you. For, appreciate the five. You know what I mean? Maybe at some other time when I'm doing uh, Q&A, come to Instagram. I'm doing Q&A all the time on Instagram Live. Anybody want to ask me a question? Come to Instagram, S-I-N, two underscores, F-U-L. Uh, follow me. And when I go live, you can get right in the comment section and say, add me, P. I will add you and I will answer any question that you have for me. That's how that go. I like Instagram live better. That's way better than allowing you to just uh, to call on the phone because it's a lot of cowards that like to say anything and everything on the phone. Not saying that I never do a Q&A again over the phone, but I like Instagram better because we're looking at each other face to face. So anybody want to ask me anything, you got the opportunity to come to Instagram, put in S-I-N, two underscores, F-U-L, and make sure that when I go live, you ask me whatever question you want to ask me. Whatever you want to disagree with me on, whatever you want to debate me on, come to Instagram and you have the opportunity to do so. I'm not ducking no debates. I'm not ducking no questions. Bring your big head ass on. I will answer all of them. But...
you know, uh, let me let me say this. You know, it's not too many individuals that actually possess a sincere love for those in the game. There's not. Remember how we used to say only only uh, one that love a pimp is another pimp. And in today's day and time, seem like you know what I mean. Don't nobody, you know, man, got love, you know, for the pimp. It seemed like nobody has, you know what I mean? Oh, Miss Norm, if it was a misunderstanding, blessings to you, bro. But, you know, uh, it seemed like in today's day and age, everybody's against the pimping, even the pimping. And that shouldn't be. That shouldn't be. We shouldn't be against each other. We shouldn't be hating on one another. Religious people dislike us. Squares dislike us. Want to be so-called hoes of today. They dislike us. It don't make no sense for us to dislike us. Hate on us. That don't make no sense. We shouldn't be doing that. That don't make no sense at all. And then once we get locked up and fucked up. Because let me tell you something, young P. Young P that's racked up right now. Young P that got on designer clothes. Young P that's foreign riding. Young P that got a nice place or nice places. I want you to know to the way you're doing today, it's not guaranteed that you'll be doing like that tomorrow, young P, in this lifestyle. That's not guaranteed. So while you in position to be a blessing, brother, it's imperative to be a blessing to whoever you can be a blessing to that's authentic in the game. Because pimps, we don't give jugs to just anybody. Uh-uh. I'm going to do a video on that as well. We don't give jugs to just anybody. The bitch didn't put her motherfucking life in danger. She seducing and reducing strangers every goddamn night. And you take that motherfucking whole money. And you sit up there and give it to some old bust ass nigga that ain't got one pimp bone in his goddamn body. That's a slap to the game. And the game going to sit up there and punish you. Some niggas, some of you are not giving jugs. You just enablers of motherfuckers who ain't pimps. P, what you mean? If a motherfucker is not a pimp, is it and his intentions is to do unpimping shit, and you finance that, you give him some money, you supporting foolery. You supporting abominations. If you know that this individual that professed to be a pimp and he's not a youngin. And he's not, come on, man, get all that 401k and all that shit out of my comment. I'm talking to peas right now. They're not talking about no uh, no disrespect, but I'm not talking to squares right now. I appreciate you coming in with the good 401k plans and all of that, but that's not, that's not what I'm talking about right now. You know, pimps is not investing in 401k plans and, and all of that shit. We talking real talk right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... I appreciate you for taking the time out to give your opinion. You know what I mean? And uh, Turf, you know, Turf and uh, and Tony, they kind of like, they pretty much basically like security uh, that was working for Death Row in the 90s. You know what I mean? So if they see anything incorrect, they're going to be on you immediately. But let me, let me stay right there for two seconds. For those of you that are in position and you just giving jugs away, you got to give a jug to an authentic pimp. All right? An authentic pimp. All right? If you give a jug to an individual that you know that is not the pimping, then you are disrespecting the game. Okay, let me come through here. Let me simplify because I know some of y'all lost, still lost in the sauce. If you got a partner, and you know your partner is a chipper. Okay? P what's a chipper. He supposed to be the pimpin', but he over there raw dog and squares and fucking on squares and all that goddamn shit. Do not sit up there and support this foolishness. If you given a jug to this individual before and you was ignorant of his actions when you gave him a hotel room or a weekly and you paid for that weekly or monthly, 
And that you seen this individual's this individual who professed to be a pimp bring nothing but attractive bitches back to the room, but didn't do no pimping. All he did was fuck on squares. All he did was raw dog squares. And you've been jugging this man week by week, month by month, and all, he haven't come up with nothing. He just been having por he just been having porno experiences and shit like that with the money that you've been uh, giving him. Stop giving him money. You are an enabler of an enemy to the game. As you see the question, how can the game better? Stop being an enabler to a sucker. Stop being an enabler to a non pimp. William, thank you for the nine uh, ninety nine. Appreciate the game. Thank you, William. I appreciate that for coming in here with this ten, bro. You know, when we sit up there and we give a jug to this pimping, that's what we supposed to be doing with the game. But when you take a hoe's money, this bitch been out here for hours. She been sitting over here down and about it, representing your game, staying in pocket, giving you loyalty, giving you currency every goddamn day. And you take the money that this woman or women have put their life on the line for, and you sit up there and give the money to a sucker, this nigga then showed you that he gonna get a, a weekly or a monthly, and he bringing back bitches from the club, or bitches from the strip, or bitches basically that he didn't met, you know what I mean, just driving up and down the street, and he taking them back to the room, and he just tasting on them. Nigga just tasting, ain't doing no pimping. No interviewing. These niggas today, they got everything but some goddamn pimping. They got the interview tongue. They got the interview dick. They got the motherfucking interview, you understand me, meth. They got the interview heroin. You know what I mean? They got everything but some goddamn pimping. Damn, man, I got to stop. You got some weed? Man, I need my interview weed. They got, they got the interview weed, the interview meth. They got the motherfucking interview powder, the interview dick. The interview tongue, they got everything but some pimping for this goddamn interview. Bitch ain't hearing nothing about no pimping. And you niggas is sitting over there giving money to these type of niggas. Oh, I don't expect no motherfucker, not that I ask for, because you know I ain't never asked for none from the beginning, and I ain't asking for nothing in the ninth inning. But no, I don't expect no big donations or contributions tonight, because a lot of y'all getting cut with this game tonight. There's going to be a lot of ouches and damn, why people coming like that? And damn, yeah, it feel like I'm talking to you, don't it? Exactly, because I am. So, no, I don't expect a lot of donations and contributions. And, man, come on with it, P. I don't. Because I know a lot of y'all getting cut with this game. You know what I mean? Because you keep funding suckers. How can we make the game better? Stop sit, sitting over there supporting suckers. Stop supporting lanes. P, what you mean by that? If you know an individual has created a channel or they created a platform and it continuously lies on the pimping, it continuously slanders the pimping, it continuously tries to minimize the pimping, diminish the pimping, it tries to sit up there, you understand me, and destroy everything about the pimping, and you subscribe to that channel or you following that page or you sharing a video, or you commenting in the comment section, you are an enabler of hatred towards the game. If you know that this individual is lying on the pimping, if you know that this individual has total hatred towards the pimping, you have no goddamn business watching videos or watching comment sections of this individual. When this game is truly in you, it should be something on the inside to stir something up like, man, I don't want to watch this shit. I don't want to watch this Wendy Williams ass shit. This nigga lying on the pimping. And even with the, the half truth that you're telling, you sit up there, got the address. Clearly, you don't want to see this man because you a coward. A coward ass motherfucker. 
So if you support a coward ass motherfucker, if you're an enabler of a coward motherfucker that says things about the pimping, but you know damn well that this individual wouldn't say that in the, the presence of a, of a pimp, you supporting a you supporting a fool, you supporting a hatred towards the game, and you will reap what you have sown too. Knock, thank you for the twenty, man. L O P, you on point. Thank you, I appreciate that. Hit the like button. They are already up here. Of course, the haters is coming in here, and I expect the dislikes, because I'm coming in here with this game. Oh, yeah, the truth ain't pretty tonight. I'm coming in here with the game. Some people couldn't make it, but they'll see, you know what I mean, the recording later. I'm coming in with this game. By all means, hit the like button. Get the likes over 200. It's already 301 uh, people up in here. I know it's 1227 here on this West Coast. You know what I mean? I know it's midnight. You know what I mean? But support this game. Get the likes over 200. Support this game. Share this game. I know this ain't one of my encouraging message. You want a nice encouraging message. You want you know, me to make you feel good like a lying Christian preacher. I ain't coming there for night. I didn't come to lie to you like some lying ass Baptist preacher tonight. I didn't come to lie to you like some lying ass Christian preacher that's whoop, whooping and hooping behind a pulpit saying a bunch of religious bullshit and shit. I didn't come to sit up there and get on your good side. I'm coming in with this game because I want the game to be better. Because if we can make the game better, we can prevent that young man from coming in contact with a sexually transmitted disease. If we can make the game better, we can stop a young man that's not even 21 years old from being in a situation where he's facing 400 and 500 years. We can do that. If we can make the game better, we can hinder that young, beautiful woman that's about to get involved with a fool. A fool, a damn fool, about to have a baby by a fool, about to sit up there and put her life in danger for a goddamn fool. Some young woman can hear the game and be blessed by it and become indoctrinated with the game. And the moment that they hear a guy who professes to be a pimp but don't possess no pimping, she'll know that she ain't got no business talking to this goofy. She ain't got no business talking to this lame. She ain't got no business talking to this male actress. This male Jezebel ass nigga. Ain't got no time talking to him. Because I know what the real is. I know how to tell the fraudulent from the authentic. So we can make the game better. I can't say everything that I desire to say tonight because I'm on this live. Certain things have to be saved for when we're physically in person. And I know that everybody's not going to be on one accord with what I'm saying because they have their own little thoughts and blessings to those brothers for having their thoughts. They're not wrong for, you know, doing whatever they're going to do. But I'm tired of young men sitting over there going to jail and facing 300 and 400 years or going to prison and facing 400 and 500 years, going to prison doing 300 four. One young man, he just got set up there and uh, uh, got sentenced and got to do 200 and some goddamn years. And we could prevent that, not speaking just on him, but it's a whole population of youth out here. They come out of gang banging. They come out of dope dealing. They come out of fatherless homes. They come from that. And the scripture says the people without a vision perish. So if they don't have a vision, they're predestined to perish. Hopefully that young man, hopefully uh, God will be merciful and something unconstitutional was done within his trial so he could come back on the appeal. But if he don't come back on something miraculous called the mercies of Yah, if, if they can't find any loopholes, if they can't find anything that was done unconstitutional within his trial or whatever transpired, that young man is getting ready to lose his life in prison. So I want to talk to all of the older, wiser, seasoned, veteran pimps that truly, sincerely, earnestly have a true love for the game to take our time and lace the youth up. Be a blessing to the youth. Be a blessing to the game. Always remember that there is, is an individual, you understand me, that's in need. Everybody didn't have what you had in your era. 
Some of you are upset at the youth for not producing the same behavior that the people in your era produced. But what you have to understand that the people in your era had things that the people in this era don't have. Some of you come from backgrounds and you had a father. Some of you had a spiritual background where you was able to go to a congregation and you had a pastor, you had a, a bishop, you had elders to look up to. Some of you had dope dealers and game bangers. And even though they was involved in carnality because of their love for your freedom and because of the love that they have for your youth, they would stop and take time out from their hustle to still give you the truth and still encourage you to go to school because they wanted to see you do better than them. They wanted you to see you be the best you that you could be. So a lot of you are so angry at today's youth and you're angry at the youth for not basically producing that behavior, but it's almost like being on a label and you got the best production studio, you got the best studio equipment, the best producer, the best songwriters, and your album go diamond. And then you looking at a new up and coming artist who's on basically a, a, a bullshit label, bullshit equipment, homemade ass studio, mediocre producers, and you sitting over there trying to criticize this uh, particular artist because the quality of uh, their product is not the same to yours. When they didn't have the same thing, they didn't have a DJ Quick, they didn't have a, a Dr. Dre, they didn't have a Daz, they didn't have a Kanye, they didn't have all of that. They didn't have a Jay Dilla. They didn't have those same producers. So no, you won't get that same quality. Sam, why did you say that? Because some of you had certain producers in your life. You had a great father. You had a great mother. You had a great pastor. You had a great motivational speaker. You had a great teacher to stay with you after school and lace you. Some of you had slow comprehensions and you didn't pick up on things immediately, but that teacher had compassion and patience on you and stayed with you to after school was over to help you with that particular problem that you had. The youth don't have the same producers that you had in the days of your youth. So your love for this game, you know what I mean, should be so much when you see a young potential you know what I mean? You see an individual who got the capabilities to be something. And I told you guys, hold on, let me do this. And Courtney, I appreciate Freeze. Thank you for coming in uh, with the $4.99. Uh, appreciate the five, bro. And uh, Courtney, thank you for coming in with the, uh, the 20. Bang, bang. I don't know what you was laughing at, but this ain't the time. You know what I mean? Appreciate you for participation, but no, this ain't the time. You know what I mean? I don't want no laughing tonight. You know what I mean? If I say something that's laughing, laugh in your house. You know what I mean? Not tonight. I'm very serious because it's a very serious message. Every time I think about that young man that's uh, about to do hundreds of years, won't even live to, to even do the sentence, we got to do better. Our youth is on drugs. A lot of our youth, you know, it used to be a time where niggas in the streets set the standard. Everybody wanted to dress like dope dealers. Everybody wanted to dress like the pimps. But nowadays, you know what I mean? You got niggas in the streets trying to dress like the motherfucking rappers. They not setting trends anymore. They following trends. And if you following trends of today's rapper, yes, you're going to be on drugs. Because that's all they glorify. They talking about getting high. They ain't even talking about selling drugs. Blessings to my brother 619 came up in here. You know what I mean? They, they sitting over there, you understand me, coming with that. Getting high and all this suicidal ass music and all the spirit of depression type music and all of that. So no, we don't need no uh, youth in the game being compelled by today's entertainers. We definitely don't need that. We don't need young peas trying to follow after future. I know an individual right now that call himself a pimp. And this nigga trying to talk like future. 
He tried to dress like future. This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. Hold on, let me take it. There we go. Hit the like button. Come on, I told you to get them likes over 200 likes. We got 292 people. You know what I mean? And uh, we should have had a bigger crowd up in here. I want the youth to hear this. Somebody said that they got a movement. P, what you talking about? Somebody been saying that they got a movement. And the only thing they got to show for this particular movement is YouTube subscribers and views and likes. That ain't no goddamn movement. I'm talking about creating something beyond YouTube in the future. I'm talking about those that's really serious about the game meeting me in the future at a physical place. In the same way that they go to church or the same way that they go to school. That's the same way that we need the youth coming at this one place hearing wise veterans of the game speak about the game amongst each other. We need that. The same way that they take a percentage, they take 10% and they give tithes and offerings to pay the utilities. I told you, hold on for a minute. I told you guys, listen, to laugh. I don't want to block anybody, but right now I'm teaching right now. And this is very serious. I don't need you laughing in the comment section. I'm trying to not block your ass. Okay? But I will say this. When I'm speaking on topics like this, King Solomon speaks about different times. It's a time for laughter. It's a time to be serious. Right now, this is a time to be serious. If I'm, I'm talking about people going to jail and prison and, and things like that, this is not a laughing matter. So please, save the laughter for the comfort of your home. That's up with that. But I'm talking about meeting up physically in the future. Us basically coming on one accord in a place in the same way that they take a percentage, you know what I mean, in church. And they take that 10% the preacher or the visiting evangelist, they get a love offering. You know what I mean? The minister, he get his little love offering. He get his little salary or whatever. And then you have, you know what I mean, the, the percentage that, you know, pay the utilities of the church. Pay certain members of the church for the activities that they they involved in within the church. We're going to come together on one accord in the future. And well, at least I want to. I got to see the reaction of the people and see if that, that sounds like a bright idea to you. But for those young pimps that's locked up in jail, for the, the young pimp that's in prison and even for the older pimps. You know what I mean? Because we, you know, never know, you know. But for those that don't have money on their books, for those that basically don't have enough bail money, imagine if we created a movement that looked out for the pimping. Imagine if we created a movement that was a, a, such a blessing to this game that a young P who has a, a, a public pretender he facing human trafficking, pandering, living on the earnings of prostitution, transportation of prostitution. And they telling him that it's over. And because this is his first encounter of ever being locked up and facing this type of shit, he's scared. And rightfully so. And if we came together. Because you won't believe there are so many young peas, you know what I mean, in these situations with $5,000 bills, $3,000 bills, $10,000 bills, you know what I mean, uh, $20,000 bills, you know what I mean, you have this, hold on for a second, you know what I mean, you have some right now. That all they need is five racks to get out. 
they facing all day. And what you guys fail to realize without getting bailed out, they're going to be in a situation where pretty much they have to sign some bullshit ass deal because they couldn't get outside and fight it. They couldn't fight it uh, from the streets. Hold on. There we go. But you have certain individuals that's going to lose time in their life because they couldn't sit up there and fight it. Number one, most of the young peas, when they get into situations, they don't even have lawful information. They don't know how to sit up there and go, uh, uh, how to deal with that. Most of the young pimps in the game, they don't have no knowledge about the law. They don't know nothing about NRS numbers. Niggas don't become knowledgeable of the law until it's too late, till his ass is in jail. Now the nigga in jail, he one of the coldest lawyers you'd never seen. The nigga in prison, he one of the coldest lawyers you'd never seen. That type of shit. You know what I mean? But let's prevent that. Why wait till young P go to jail or prison to get that type of knowledge? We should be meeting up in one meeting at uh, one place on one accord where we have somebody or individuals that's conveying knowledge about the law. That's giving information on how to do things and abstain from certain situations in all locations. Like, yeah, P, uh, you know what I mean? I know that you, you know what I mean, been doing your thing, you know what I mean? Uh, but I, I just want to let you know, you know what I mean? In Orange County, you know what I mean? You might want to do things a little bit different because the law for this and this and that. And you'll fuck around and have to register as a sex offender. And you're going to be in the same category as an individual that had a minor. Or you're going to be in the same category as an individual basically that was taking out his penis trying to have sex, you know what I mean, with a three or four year old, even though you was pandering and uh, uh, living off the earnings, you know what I mean, of somebody who was 30 or 28. They're going to make you try to register as a goddamn sex offender. And once you get off of registering as a sex offender, it will always be in the system that you registered as a sex offender before. So why wouldn't we have enough love for the game to come on one accord? You know what I mean? And let me do this for you. Because you think you think shit ain't uh you think shit a game. Uh blessings to you. Goodbye. But you know uh you have certain individuals, you know what I mean, that they they not knowledgeable that hold on. I gotta sit up there and do this. Now I gave that the individual that I just blocked, I gave warning, did I not? I told you tonight that I don't want no laugh. This is not a laughing matter. Okay. So, and Courtney, I, uh, whoever he is, I'm not, I'm teaching right now. I'm not even reading the scrolls that a lot of you are, are typing. I read it back later when I look at the lab, but right now I'm teaching. So, you know what I mean? I will read all of the scrolls and the 613 commandments that you've written at a later time. Court to enlighten the minds of the youth to prevent these situations. Why wouldn't we take our time to learn about the laws in certain locations so we could be a blessing to the youth? Because we got a lot of the young peas right now 
they going back and forth uh, in Orange County. And if some of them knew the consequences that awaits them, if they do, if they get caught for anything, you know what I mean, in Orange County, some of them wouldn't even be going. What did I tell you guys? I told you guys when it comes to certain places such as Virginia or Orange County, and if the money is just so good in Orange County, it's just so good that, you know what I mean, you just got to check it. What I tell you? And I'm a square. I'm not a pimp. But in my honest square ass opinion, I don't think you physically should be there. And last time I checked, you know, I don't know nothing about lifestyle. I'm just a square to just, you know, be saying my thoughts. But in my honest square ass opinion, I believe that certain areas are so hot, especially during certain times, that a pimp shouldn't physically be there. You should have that bitch on automatic. If the money is so good and the bitch is checking it like the house on fire, she getting your motherfucking desire every goddamn night, your trap is right top of the morning, then sit up there, you understand me, and have the bitch on auto. Put that bitch on auto. If you got a grown-ass woman and you sitting over there presiding over a grown-ass woman, you can move like that. Now, if you got you a little baby and you got to keep the training wheels on her every goddamn day and all of that shit, then, uh, okay, it is what it is. But some of you keep putting yourself in situations. It's like you like to keep putting your hands inside the lion's mouth. And then when you finally get bitten, you know what I mean? You're like, damn, I should have. Fuck. I, I, you know what I mean? Damn, man. Goddamn why I didn't listen. You know what I mean? So I'm saying this out of love. We need individuals who are studying the law, becoming knowledgeable of the law. So when we meet at one place at one time, we, it'll be a certain time within that, that knowledge pertaining to the laws and this location, that location, this location is given. Because after certain pimps, would hear about certain consequences that was in certain areas like, like damn, if, certain, if some of you knew, you know what I mean, the punishment, the time that your ass going to do in confinement before being able to get a bail or whatever in places like Virginia or, you know what I mean, then, man, they do certain individuals wrong in Tennessee. There's certain individuals right now that's doing time in Tennessee, man, and it's just fucked up. Because you got a lot of people that's in Tennessee and in jails in Tennessee and they don't give a fuck. So a lot of your loved ones and partners and shit, they get treated any kind of motherfucking way. And, you know, the people in Tennessee know they can get away with it. So, no, you don't want to be in jail in Tennessee. You don't want to be in jail nowhere, but it's just certain places because of how things are so unorganized, it's not organized at, at all. You know what I mean? Some of your loved ones and partners and shit like that, they being treated like shit. You better sit up there and, and, and put a jug on them books or go make visitation to your family or the people that you love because they getting treated like shit. Hit that like button right now. Come on, man. I told you to get them likes over 200. It's 314 people watching. Hit the like button. I know we're going on 1 o'clock in the morning. I understand that. You know what I mean? But hit that like button for this game. Hit that share button for this game. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't shared this video, make sure you share this video. If you haven't commented, make sure you comment. You know what I mean? Show me that you're here. Blessings to all of the ladies that are currently watching right now. You know what I mean? I made some statements. I'm going to make some more statements concerning the ladies as well. Uh, but I want for I want this game to be to be better. We need to show more love towards one another. When you see one of us saying something, doing something contrary to wisdom, contrary to what is right. If you truly had love for that individual, you would tell their ass that they wrong. If you see one of the young peas saying and doing things 
on social media and they're doing a bunch of shit that's stupid, they incriminating themselves, then when are you going to be a big brother? When are you going to be that uncle? When are you going to, you understand me, be that older, wiser P? Or even if you're not older, maybe you're younger, but your wisdom surpasses your existence. When are you going to take out the time to be a blessing to that individual to prevent them from getting incarcerated? You know as well as I know. Some of you are following certain uh, young P's and they sitting over there breaking the bitch on Instagram. Bitch sitting over there counting thousands of shit. And after the bitch, she's sitting over there looking like a hoe. Because I said looking like a hoe because most likely she ain't one. You know, just a square ass prostitute dressed like a real hoe. But she looked like a hoe. She counted uh, some money. And then she put it in his hand on Instagram. All for followers. All for likes. And I can't even put it on the youth because I know somebody that when they broke on a bitch, they got a video on, on YouTube, them breaking on the bitch. And this motherfucker was damn near 40 years old at that time. When they did it. And that individual had been in the game for over a decade. So it ain't just the youth that's doing foolish shit. This disease called clout is omnipresent. And it's even touching a lot of the individuals that's professing to be pimps. Veteran pimps as well. Niggas saying anything, doing anything. Posting everything on social media just to get views, just to get popular. We got to stop that. We got to love our people. When we see any of our people saying and doing stupid shit, and I told you uh, whenever the video buffers, if it's buffering and if it knock you out the live, tap right back out and come right back in. You know, it do that all the time. We'll go to 320, it bounce back to 280. You know what I mean? That's my signal, that's your signal. But just tap back out and tap back in. You know what I mean? Okay, that's that's cool, bro, but I'm not talking about that right now. But blessings to you, you know what I mean? But I'm talking about something serious. I know you didn't mean anything by it. You know, keep watching that. You know what I mean? And, and turf next time, bro, be a little merciful. You know what I mean? They just uh, uh, let let me give the warning first, and then turf once they go over the warning, hang them off to the lions. What's going on, Moose? This is why my brother sin should be honored by you, game dummies. Get to pivot, take heed. A, a steel tongue makes a wise head. Appreciate that, Musa, and I appreciate you for coming in because what I want to do in the future. Is the same way, just imagine young, beautiful minds and older, wise, infinite minds coming together in the lifestyle of pimping and horn, coming on one accord at one place and on certain subjects, expounding and saying things that's profound amongst each other, building up one another, arm sharpening arm, criticizing, making each other's Realize what we need to be doing. You know what I mean? Certain percentage of what we made within the month or week, whatever. You know what I mean? We'll speak on that when we come together. And we can take a small portion of that. You know what I mean? Let's say like if, if, if a P, you know, is only his broad, he only got one bitch. And that bitch only making five hundred dollars a day. Okay, she only making five hundred dollars a day, which is still thirty five hundred dollars for the week. And let's say that I say that uh, there's this particular young P that all of us know that he's a real pimp, but he got caught up in some bullshit, and we need to raise. 5000 to get this other P out. You know what I mean? And let's say, you know what I mean? Uh, we all together, all of the, the, the authentic, and we all amongst each other, 
And we just take a point. And this is an individual that just only got one bitch. That's only checking 500. Or maybe times is really bad. Maybe his bitch is only checking $300 a day. Lord have mercy. And she's only checking $300 a day, which is still $2,100 for the week, which is still, you understand me? Uh, it, it, well, it possibly, you know, make it lead to uh, nine racks. She might, you know, get arrested or what have you or whatever, but he should still make nine to 10,000 within that month. You know what I mean? Something close to that. Now, Let's say, you know what I mean, they can't give the way that they want to give. But that which you can give, you being a blessing. And we come all on one accord to get the pimping out of jail. We come all on one accord to put money on the books of the veteran pimp that's been down. His family, they ain't fucking with him. His bitch that went out on him. Some of you young peas and older peas know pimps that's in jail and prison right now. And you ain't looked out for them one time while they been in jail. You ain't looked out one time while you been in prison. I told you, you reap what you sow and you also reap what you haven't sown. I want in the future, I want to not only be a blessing to those who are incarcerated, but I want to be a blessing to the youth so they won't have to be incarcerated. Without a vision, the people perish. In a multitude of counsel, there is safety. Let's provide the safety for the youth. Let's stop whispering and murmuring and saying things under our breath about sinful to pee or freeze or drape. And if oh, I'm a street nigga, I could never do this. I would never do that. OK, well, let's go to the streets and let's meet up on one accord at one place. And whatever differences that we have, let's get it out the way and let's talk about it like men so we can be a blessing to the young men. Because whatever problem that you have with me, it can't be greater than this game. Whatever problem that I have with you, it can't be greater than this game. This game is bigger than any problem that I got with any nigga. This game is bigger than any problem that I got with any pimp. This game is bigger than I got with any nigga that I don't see as the pimping. The game is bigger than that. The game is more important than that. So if we need to come on one accord where I listen to you without interrupting you like a man and you say anything that I've offended you, if you felt disrespected or offended, by anything that I ever said or did, let's meet on one accord and just like a man, you make it known. And I will listen to you in its entirety. Whether you tell the truth or you lie. Only thing is when I start talking, give me that same respect. Don't interrupt me while I'm talking. Let's respect each other like men. No problem that I have with any real pimp or any nigga, any man, any devil is bigger than this game. Because the young people are dying. The young people are being killed. The young people are uh, being sentenced to hundreds of years. Fuck whatever problem that I got with anybody that problem ain't that damn big some of y'all keep getting in my comment uh, section and getting in my DM seeing is you gonna respond back 
to Hassan Campbell. Hassan made a video about you. Hassan made a video with your name in it. Uh, every time he make a video about other people, he mentioned you. Are you going to say anything back? Brother, I've already shown you how much a nigger I can be. I've shown you my nigger side. I've shown you that I can roast with the best of them. I've shown you that. It's time for me to show you that I could rise above conflict with another brother. As I study and study more and more about Brother Malcolm, I, I, need, to, it's, it, I need to be delivered from that. The youth in the game need a better example. One of the main reasons why from the 1st of November to now that I've been putting nothing but water and fruit in my body is because the youth need an example, not just presiding over women, not just checking money, not just teaching, not just in totality, physically. And not saying that we're going to be perfect, but at least we can strive to be. I have to make sacrifices so I can be the leader that the game has called me to be. There's certain messages that's within me that's very powerful that nobody in the game can bring like I can. I like the other guys, but God didn't bless them other guys the way that he blessed me. And I would be doing you a disservice. I would be disrespecting you if I didn't give you the best of me. So I got to be the best in totality. You know what I mean? And when I released those words, Freeze, Freeze, and Matt was at that time. I said, I'm going to go 60 days of just water and fruit. I'm just going to mess with the dumbbells and get my cardio in. And I must say that, you know, with all of the reading that I've been doing, you know what I mean? With all of the listening to Brother Malcolm, and we still going to do that. And for those of you, I want you to uh, order. I'm going to speak about that later on, but I want you to order that. I want you to get the biography of Malcolm X. I want you to study Brother Malcolm because as we study Brother Malcolm, we see that Brother Malcolm is one of the best definitions that we've ever had for discipline. I want to be a blessing to the game. I can't be a blessing to this game if I'm putting things in my body that's destroying me. I can't be a blessing to this game if I'm sitting over there wasting time with individuals that don't want nothing to do with the game. I can't be a blessing to this game if I'm using the platform that the game blessed me with to destroy another black man. Because whether that black man is authentic or whether he's fraudulent, I would I don't I shouldn't be. That's not God didn't put too much in me. It's not that certain individuals don't need to be checked. When it's time to check, it's time to check. But I done done enough of it with that brother. I don't want to go back and forth with Hassan anymore. But bro, it'll lead to views. It'll lead to more likes. It, it'll lead to more subscribers. I don't want it that way. I know that if I made videos every day, talking about different YouTubers and putting a name in the title and roasting every day. I know that the channel would be bigger, but that's not what I want the channel build it off of, of destroying another black male or destroying another black man. And I don't want to do that. That's not what the platform has been built it off of. We going on 34,000 subscribers because of the game. Not because of some Wendy Williams ass shit. You got 315 people watching at one o'clock in the goddamn morning. And no, it ain't a thousand. No, it ain't two thousand. No, it ain't three thousand. 
But I'd rather have 300 people in here talking about the game than 3,000 people talking about, do I think Cardi B and uh, Offset, was it fake or is it real? I mean, every now and then, I'm going to talk about something trending. Why? Because, yes, that's part of it. Yes, you gain subscribers by doing that. Yes, I know y'all want to hear me speak about that. So, you know, I entertain it here and there, but just to let you know, I really don't give a fuck. The young man just got sentenced to hundreds of years. I can give a flying fuck. Cardi B and Offset is pulling a, a, the wool over people's eyes or if it's real or not. Why? Because they sitting over there making all of these laws against the pimping. Why? Because they know the most common face for the pimping is the black face. They want to destroy the black man. That's why. They hate the black man. But they got to hide behind all of that shit. So they say, you know, we hate pimps and, you know, yeah, you do. But you know, the most common face for the pimping is the black man. And that's why you make all of these laws that's just ridiculous because you want to see the black man in confinement. Hit that like button. I should have told, I shouldn't have to tell you that. It's 194 likes. I don't know, see how an individual can dislike this game. But hey, you know, I knew the moment I started saying things, I knew you guys was going to dislike it because it's the truth anyhow. But get them likes over 200. Let's work on getting them likes over 300. Let's bring more people in here. Why? Because it's a game banger that needs this. Why? Because it's a young man that's only getting game from music. He listening to Mac Dre and Sugar Free and watching American Pimp and Pimps Up Hoes Down. And with that little knowledge of what he think the game to be, he's predestined to be in somebody's jail real soon. You know what I mean? I fuck with you, uh, KG2221, but no laughs right now. No smiley faces, smiley faces or none of that. Don't need no... uh faces that smiling or any laughter right now you know what I mean but I want you guys to be elevated I want the youth to be elevated I don't want no more young black men being uh, sentenced sentences to uh, let me do this for you okay hold on now let me un undo that for you Hold on for a minute. But there we go. You cool now. Hold on. There we go. G Mac, you should be cool now. There we go. But I'm tired of all of the young black males and men. We going to prison and jail over stupid shit, over dumb shit, over shit that could be avoided if we would just take out the time to lace each other up. It's time for motherfuckers to stop being on the sideline. You got a certain individual, they just want to act like they're a wise one after somebody go to jail and prison. We got that all the time. Every time somebody go to jail in prison, man, I told them, man, these young niggas today, it wasn't like that in our day. Man, you know what I mean? These young niggas today. But when have you gotten off your ass to be a blessing to this game? When have you took out time to correct the incorrect? Because it's, it's a whole population of you. They complain about what I do. So my thing is, if you don't like what I do, when you're going to create something that's for the youth to prevent them from going to jail, to prevent them from going to prison. When you going to create something? When? 
we got to be a blessing to this game, man. We got to give an account in the end of how we was a blessing to one another. Young P, that's four deep, five holes deep, seven holes deep. Let me tell you something. As I said, today you you doing your thing. Months from now, you could be holeless and doleless. And that pimp that the game put on your heart to give a jug to, to be a blessing. You know you've been driving up and down the blade. And you've been seeing this one particular P. He's been down and about it. Let me tell you something about a real pimp. A real pimp that's really, you know what I mean, take pride in itself. Just because he's doing bad or holeless and doleless right now, that don't mean that he's going to sit up there and beg you for some money. I know some pimps right now. They was walking on the side of the motherfucking highway without a dollar in their pocket. They not going to ask you for shit. So it's you that's got to be a blessing to them. And nobody should have to beg you or ask you to be a blessing when you really love this game. When you see an individual that's really authentic, you should want to be a blessing to the authentic. You should want to make the real feel appreciated. And if you the real you obligated to make the real appreciated because it's only a few of us. So when you see somebody standing on their peak, not selling drugs, not working no job, not sitting over there, you understand me, uh, mixing it to fix it with all type of uh, dumb ass shit. And you know that, you understand me, he's been standing on the principles of this game. That man is not to be made fun of. That man is not to be roasted. Now, if he's involved in a roasting and it come up, you know, I know how the game is. But just to be roasting him for being holeless and doleless, I told you this, and I'll tell you again for those that never heard it. But an individual that I used to fuck with, they was pretty much, you know, riding in the Cadillac, and my brother, my partner, was in the car with this other individual. And as they began to ride around, they see that one particular one that professes to be a P riding in this Cadillac. And the, the arrogance of this one individual, because they was doing swell at that time, they're not doing half of that now. This one individual I'm talking about, they were so arrogant because they had the little mansion home. You know, they had the nice little rented mansion in Vegas, like many of you, living beyond your means, trying to show out for social media, trying to keep up with the Joneses. You know, you had to make it seem like you was bigger than what you are, then the game had to humble you. But he was in the mansion and he had all of these nice little forms and he was acting arrogant. He, you should have seen him, baby. You would have thought that he was out poor, rich from paid in full. You would have thought that he was rich Porter, the way that he was acting, the way he was checking it. You would have thought that he was like 30 deep and each bitch was bringing in over five million a night. The way he conducted himself and the way that he looked down on real pimps. And this same individual that was like, man, that's what's the name driving that Cadillac? Damn. That Cadillac, he driving shit. That's the same one my bitch drive. My bitch driving the Cadillac, he drive. The pimping don't look down on the pimping. And that same individual is no longer in the mansion. That same individual is no longer in two Porsches. That same individual is no longer in a Bentley. This, you know, that same individual is not in, you understand me, the S550. That individual is no longer, 
You understand me? That arrogant, flamboyant dude no more. That individual went from a mansion home with cars outside and all it is to now catching drug cases and all type of shit. And not to look down on the individual and not to look down on that individual, but it just is what it is. Don't you ever look down on the pimping. How could we make the game better by restoring the pimping? By bringing, endeavoring to bring restoration to another P situation. Sometime when you're not checking it like that, and when you're not having money like that, when the money is slow, and you got a P partner that's currently holeless and doleless, that's temporarily holeless and doleless, sometime all of that pimp need is somebody to pick up the phone and sit up there and stir up the fire that's burning in the inside. Sometimes all a pimp need is for a pimp to sit up there and call him and remind him about all the times that he used to sit up there and do all of the pimpish shit in the game. Sometimes all a pimp need is a good conversation, a, a good uh, memories to sit up there, you understand me, and come back to him. Sometimes in life, a person might lose people in life, whether by death or a certain bitch that he had for years is now expired and turned into a, a ordained faggot. And when you have pimped on a bitch or pimped on a bitches for years and to see your pimping sit up there and destroy this bitch that you sit up there and worked on and you build it from the ground up, sit up there and disrespected your game and the game as a whole and changed and went to a fucking boyfriend hit that like button right now come on man it's 347 people watching hit that like button right now get them likes to 300 likes man hurry up a video like this this supposed to be 2,000 3,000 likes all of the videos that they got 2,000 and 3,000 likes ain't talking about nothing Man ain't funny, no type of game, no nothing. Hit that like button. Stop disrespecting this game. Get them likes over 300. But I said that, you know what I mean, to say this. When you are possessed with this game, when you truly love this game, you love the individuals that's in it. You know what I mean? Lone Star, thank you for the, uh, the 20 on the strength. Thank you. But when you truly love the game, you love the individuals that's within it. You can't say that you love the game and you don't love the individuals within it. Why? Because they the game. The pippin' is the game, baby. You know what I mean? When you really love the game the way you profess to love this game, you're not going to let your pee partner, you understand me, just go without. Come on, man. Some of y'all will put weed in another pimp's mouth, lean in another pimp's mouth before you sit up there and put food in his mouth. You ought to feel ashamed of yourself. And I've seen it, so I'm talking from experience. How is it that you were able to put weed in his mouth, lean in his mouth, sit up there and snort powder with him, but you didn't sit up there and give him enough money where he can get a haircut or he can go get his hair braided or he get his hair done or give him gas money or if you got multiple cars how didn't you sit up there and put the pimpin at least in one of them and allow the pimpin to campaign until he knocks something you know what I mean just want to speak on him a little bit because everybody's saying Oh, I knew it. I knew it. It was only a matter of time before he did it, before he did this and before he did that. And I'm not speaking on him being a pimp or not being a pimp because he's not a pimp. And hopefully the truth will be told and magnificent to get his liberty back in society. But uh, as far as Mac is concerned, there was individuals, man, that didn't even have a bitch. Didn't have no car. 
And Magnificent would give him a car. Magnificent would give a jug. I knew one particular uh, so-called P, because he not, he not really this. But he got a love for the game. And this one particular young man that didn't have uh, uh, his ride at the time, he was out there in Texas. And Mac didn't know him from a can of paint. Them Southern people are something else. Ain't nothing like them Southern people. Not all of them like that, but the people that's really from the South, they got them Southern teachings up in there. Sometimes folk ain't got to know you from a can of paint and sit up there and be a blessing to you. Niggas from other regions, man, shit. But Mac sit up there, you understand me? And it's like, oh man, just take the range. Yeah, I ain't using the range, man. Just take the range, man. You know what I mean? Take just take the Range Rover, man, and, and campaign, bro. Yeah, you ain't gotta use that. Yeah, just use the Range Rover until you get your shit. You know what I mean? And go ahead and knock you something. Didn't even know him like that. But just let him get inside the range, you know, and move around a total stranger. But just put him in the Range Rover like it wasn't nothing. So like I said, when you speak on somebody, make sure you speak of these individuals in totality. One time, he was even a blessing to me. I'll tell you how. At a time... I was really uh, still going through about my mother passing. Of course, didn't nobody know it because when you see me, I'm going to be smiling and encouraging the other people because when you really got a calling on your life, you know, your ministry is higher than your burden. It's higher than what you're going through. So you got to be a blessing to people even when you feel like crying. You, know, you, can't, you can't cry. You ain't got no time to be crying. You ain't got no time for that. Why? Because you got to be a blessing to the people. That's what your life, that's why you was put here. You was put here to be a blessing to the people. So, you know, uh, I was going through. I was going through about my mother at that time. And uh, Mac sat up there, man, and, you know, just got at me. He was like, man, you know, when you get a chance, man, you know, man, uh, call me. You know, I just want to chop it up with you, man. You know, I've been seeing some of your videos, man. And I must say, man, you, 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 you're a very powerful brother, man. You know what I mean? You cold. You cold, sin. You know what I mean? You're a powerful dude. You know, I want to talk to you. So, you know, we end up chopping it up. And he said, man, you know, I just wanted to sit up there, man, and encourage you, man, and and tell you, you know, for me to hear that, because I'm a, I'm usually the one on the other side. I'm doing all the encouraging. I'm doing all the uplifting. I'm doing all the enlightening. I'm bringing the enlightenment to people. You know what I mean? So, you know, for him to go out of his way, sit up there and say, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, I just wanted to let you know, man, I really like what you're doing, man, for this game, man. You know what I mean? I like what you're doing, man, for this game, man. You know what I mean, man? I, I see a lot of big things for you, you know, in the future, man. This game, man, I heard, I heard a lot of good things about you, Pete. A lot of good things about you, Pete. Man, you, you, you cool. And didn't know me from a can of paint. Because me and Mac didn't only seen each other one time. You know what I mean? And what met one time. You know what I mean? And what met one time. In fact, when I first seen Mac, Show you how old that was when I first seen Mac. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, when I seen Mac, Nice was still living. I told you, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I told you guys. Hold on. There we go. I told you. No laughter. But you know what I mean? Nice, he, nice was still living at that particular time. Hit that like button right now. I told you to get the likes over 300. We got 420, 21 people watching right now. Get them likes over 300. But you know what I mean? Mac was just an individual that would just give. Why am I speaking about Mac? Because we need individuals like that. 
Okay, brother, you on your way of getting blocked. I'm going to give you one more warning. I don't want to see no smiling faces. I don't want to see uh, uh, no uh, laughing uh, emojis either because this ain't a liking, laughing type of video. I don't know why it's so hard for people to pay attention. Pay attention and follow uh, instructions now. You know, I know Brother Clyde, he came in late. That's my bro. But no, we're not going to do no uh, laughing emojis or none of that. Anytime I'm talking about people getting locked up and showing love to the game and all of that, this is very serious. You know what I mean? Being a blessing to people is priceless. Thank you, uh, one or 100 deep. Thank, appreciate the, uh, the 30, bro. But why am I using Mac? Because Mac is a cold example of the way that a lot of us should be. Okay, when you got a pimp around you that temporarily doesn't have, because if he's a real pimp, he can be delayed, but never denied. We all go through it. Ups and downs and turnarounds, crucifixions, uh, adversity, difficulty. But we get into a continuity of still pursuing our wants. Why? Because sooner or later we're going to have it. You know what I mean? When you really this pimping, you know you can't go long without having it. You know that. And I told you, when the video buffer like that and it drop, whenever it knock you out, you got to just come back in. You know, it been doing that. It done that seven times. That's why if you notice when I click off, a lot of times by me being live on my phone, I told you, man, you know what I mean? Whenever this game coming in, of course, we done lost over a hundred and some people. But they'll find their way back. You know what I mean? They'll find their way back. But like I said, you know, the reason why I was using Mac was because that's the way we supposed to sit up there and treat each other. The pimping supposed to value each other. We're supposed to have that camaraderie for one another, that respect for one another. OK, it's a must that we do. We pose a value to lives of another pimp. Whenever we have a pimp that's without, I'm talking about a real pimp. I'm talking about a real pimp. I'm not talking about these individuals that just got a bribe or a situation that makes them appear pimpish. I'm not talking about them individuals. I'm talking about individuals who actually that you've seen pimp for years that you know that's authentic in the game. You've seen this pimp in this state. You've seen him in that state. You've seen him in that state. Y'all have met each other through the bitch. You knew basically from the reports that this bitch gave you, that bitch gave you, this bitch gave you, that bitch uh, gave you. These bitches was on one accord saying things about the character of this man that would, ever, that would uh, always crown him as a pimp. So you know he's the pimp. So if you ever seen an individual who you seen at one time was doing this thing and you see this individual who's not currently doing this thing right now because he's going through some financial difficulty or whatever he's going through at that time. Because sometime somebody's mother will die, sometime their father will die, sister will die, brother will die, a uh, bitch could have got killed. You know what I mean? Something like that. Something do you know what I mean? It's up to you to restore that particular P in meekness. If he need a jug, jug him. But the greatest jug that you can ever give a pimp while he's down is words of encouragement. The greatest jug that you can give a pimp, you understand me, while he's currently down, you know what I mean, temporarily down, you know what I mean, is some pimping. It's to talk about this pimping, chopping it up with, about, with him about this pimping, reminding him about the times when he had you fired up about this pimping. That's how you get another pimp, you know what I mean, fired up about this game. Be like, man, P, I just want to tell you, man, hey, man, you probably forgot, but man, when you pulled up, you know what I mean, that one time, remember that one time, man, you had that black S550, oh my God, nigga. And then when you got out, you know what I mean, with the whole little Louis Vuitton fit, 
Oh my God, man. I was like, whoo, this nigga, this nigga the pimpin', man. My God, you was checking it. When I seen you come to the blade like that, I was like, man, I gotta get my shit together. When I seen you, when we all uh was uh suited and booted, you know what I mean, at the headquarters, and you came in with the limo, and you got out of that limo, man, and you was tailored up. And your nails was manicured, and you had a wave in your hair for each day of the year, and you was smelling good like a motherfucker, man. I was like, man, this nigga is a pimp. And I didn't even know you at the time, but I was like, man, this nigga is a pimp. You know what I mean? I just wanted to show, I just had to sit up there and call you, man, because, you know, we was having a conversation earlier about the most pimpish pimps or the pimps with class. Or the pimps, man, they really represented the game. And you know we couldn't have that conversation without speaking about your representation, baby. And you don't even know that that can be, you know what I mean, the encouragement that he needed to get his development in the game. That right there was more valuable than $200, $500, $1,000, or a few thousand. Sure, you know what I mean? Currency take care of necessities. Currency going to take care of the utilities. Currency going to sit up there and keep him in position to campaign. Currency going to do that. But what's going to really keep him afloat is him being able to chop up some game. What's really going to keep him afloat is him being reminded and uh, put in remembrance of how fly he was. Where you can make him reminisce and retrospect about how he was going hard in the game, man. You know what I mean? Man, Peter, the way you had your hair whipped, you know what I'm saying? And what I really loved about you, P, is the way you used to send the hose to the blade, man. Oh, my God, nigga. After I seen the way your hose was dressed, I was like, man, I got to step it up. I got to step it up. Because this nigga's bitch... The tire of this nigga's bitch costs more than my car. And I was in a Cadillac at that time, P. And my lack, you know what I mean? I had only paid five and six racks for. But your bitch, the total of everything that she had on, man, shit, it was damn near 11 to 15,000. Bitch had a little rolly on. Bitch had the little... A purse that, you know what I mean, I knew it was 3400 because I wanted to get it for my bitch, but I didn't have enough money at the time. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, P, man, you just been you just been a blessing to this game, man. You know what I mean? I just had to sit up there, man, and let you know how much of a blessing, man, that you've been to me. You know what I mean? And I just appreciate you, you know what I mean, for your pimping, man. So even though you're going through what you're going through right now, you know, man, I just called to let you know, man, that's the best definition. That's your situation is the best definition of temporary, nigga, because ain't no way in the world, you know what I mean, you with all of that pimping that you got up in you, that you ain't going to sit up there, man, and knock tonight. You know, some niggas going to knock this month. Some niggas is going to knock this week. But, nigga, you're going to knock tonight. I'm speaking it in existence, nigga. You understand me? You gonna sit up there and knock tonight. Matter of fact, Pete, where you at right now? I'm about to sit up there, you understand me, and pull up on you right now. That's pimping. That's pimping. That's pimping. And we got to bring that back. That's how we sit up there and make the game better. When it's pimps that's getting into it, and they have gotten into it so bad that it's no longer on a bitch. They trying to minimize each other and disrespect each other. And it's not on the bitch. They fighting over a bitch and it's about to uh, sit up there and get to a physical confrontation. If you see that getting ready to go on, by all means, hinder that. By all means, stop that. And I'm going to tell you why. Back in like, I want to say 2004 or five, there was a, a P by the name of Fly Baby, okay, and another P by the name of Quick, who's out now. 
And these particular peas, they got into it. They got into a uh, misunderstanding. They should have been avoided. They should have been hindered. And with all the pimping that was there, that should have been destroyed by the pimping. It should have been somebody like, hey, man, quit, quit, quit all of this shit out, man. You know what I mean? God damn, man. You know what I mean? It should have been, it should have been like that. Niggas that truly got love for this game. I'm talking about how we can make the game better tonight. Hit the like button. Get the likes over 300. That's right. Rest in peace to Kenny. But, you know, they got into it because I don't remember the story all the way. But from what I remember, I think that Quick's bitch was basically uh, uh, coming out of the driveway. And as she began to sit up there and come out of the driveway, she ended up bumping uh, uh, Quick. She bumped into Quick. You know what I mean? And uh, of course, Quick, I think, was with the pimping and you know, he going off because anybody that heard about the reputation, not a quick, my, my bad, Fly Baby. The bitch bumped into Fly Baby, all right? So when the bitch stood up there and bagged up into Fly Baby, and anybody know the reputation of Fly Baby, he was a, a, a flamboyant pimp, mouthpiece pimp, very witty, you know? And, um, you know, the bitch bumped into him, and from what I hear, Fly Baby was with the pimpin'. And, uh, you know, he sitting up there going off, you know what I mean? She had bumped him into him. And so basically, uh, at this time, Quick was with his brother. And his brother is a square, you know. And, um, you know, Quick sat up there and heard about the situation. I guess the bitch called him. Quick come down there. And now Quick and Fly Baby are talking. And Fly sat up there and he said, yeah, man, you know what I mean? Uh. You know, your bitch bumped into me, man. You know what I mean? What type of, you know, what's going on here? So as they going back and forth, you know, uh, I think quick say to uh, Fly Baby, because Fly Baby like, man, you know what I mean? Your bitch done bumped into me, man. She done hit the pimping. And so quick was like, well, damn, P, she hit you with the car and, and you just walking. You still all good. Something to that effect, I believe. And, uh. Fly, Fly Baby was like, nigga, this bitch done bumped it to me, nigga, and that's your response to the pimping? So, you know, from what I heard, Fly Baby, you know, ended up kind of chopping, uh, giving a uh, uh, Quick a little chopping. You know, and then Quick sat up there, you know what I mean? And uh, uh, he decided, you know, the bitch had already got instructions to leave, I guess. She gone. But Quick left. Quick leaves with his brother. They leave. And they go to the palms on their own. And as they begin to go to the palms, uh, according to Quick, Fly Baby and some other peas end up going to the palms as well. And they ended up meeting uh, there and end up seeing each other there and have some more words for one another. And now they going off and, you know what I mean, and they, they sitting over there you know what I mean? Talking crazy to one another. And from what I heard, you know, uh, Fly Baby, you know, because he had an alcohol problem, he liked to drink. Keep that in mind. He liked to drink. And Fly Baby sat up there and, you know, and pulled out a knife. And this Fly Baby sat up there and pulled out a knife, you know what I mean, on Quick. And anybody know Quick? Quick has a, he got a switchblade temper like this. I know because I done done time with him. And Quick sat up there, you know what I mean? And uh, uh, once he seen that the nigga had pulled out a knife, you know, Quick don't play like that. Quick don't play like that at all. Quick a little duty. We had a little weight on him. But Quick sat up there, you understand me, and went back to that car, you know what I mean, and got a gun. And he ended up shooting Fly Baby. And due to the fact that the Pippin didn't intervene, they sitting over there laughing and Watching all of this shit go down, we no longer have Fly Baby. Fly Baby is no longer with us. Fly Baby was killed on that night. Okay? And Quick ended up doing, 
I think from like 04 to, he got out a couple of years ago. I think Quick been out now for almost two years or two years now. You know what I mean? God was merciful and he was able to come back, you know, on that and get some things overturned and get his liberty back in society. He's back out here. But we don't have Fly Baby uh, no more. We don't have him. That could have been avoided. That didn't have to be. But due to the fact that niggas actually stood around and watched the shit go down, instead of saying something about it, that's exactly why Fly Baby is not here anymore. That could have been avoided. That could have been Avoid it. Do we roast? Pimps roast. Do we talk shit? Pimps talk shit. Pimps funny. Most funniest motherfuckers I know on earth. But when one of us take out a knife. Or when one of us get to say on Larry. Or on Chief. Or on Crip. Or on 60s. And when you hear stuff like that coming out of a so-called pimp's mouth. It is time for someone to be the bigger man and break this shit up. Because this shit is getting ready to lead, you know what I mean, to somebody's downfall. Somebody gonna end up going to jail or somebody gonna end up going to the graveyard. So when you see things getting unpimpish amongst the pimping, break that shit up. Break that shit up immediately before we lose somebody. Be matter of fact, before we lose two people. Because we ended up losing two. One ended up getting killed. And one ended up losing time out of his life that he can't get back no more. You know what I mean? So we have to look out for one another. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. We cannot allow ourselves to be so entertained by uh, jokes to not see that this one that's not too seasoned, he don't have too much game in him. He don't really have this pimping in him. He getting upset and he ready to grab a gun. Everybody can't take a roaster. You can't roast everybody. Everybody not built like that. Pimps can take a roaster. When that whole little scandal went down, damn near the whole game was on Instagram, Facebook, making jokes, tagging me each and every day. Did I cry about it? Did I keep going? Am I still going? Am I still that nigga? Have I produced more? All of the backbiting and all of the, you understand me, the lies, did it stop me? Did the game help me rise above that? Asa, thank you. Did it, did it help me rise above that? You had individuals from everywhere. You know what I mean? Making fun of me. Talking shit about me. Lying on me. Am I still here? Are we not bigger and better? Are we not? I got some other things coming pretty soon. I just haven't said nothing, but you know what I mean? Are we not? Did that stop anything? They thought that that was, was going to stop seeing. They thought the channel wasn't going to be no more. Did that stop? Huh? No, I couldn't stop me. Because if the whole people that profess to be in the game got together on one accord, it's not stronger than what I got on the inside of me. It's not stronger than the game that I got in me. That's not stronger than the individual who I am. I know who I am. That stuff that them guys be talking about, you know, they talk in a little circle. Why just keep growing and growing and growing and growing? 
They didn't stop anything. If anything, they were a blessing. That whole thing was a blessing. Why? Because it got people that was around me that shouldn't have never been around me away from me. That whole situation was a blessing. It got, it got rid of a lot of fake people. That situation, you understand me, provided a platform for, for clowns to reveal that they were a clown. That's what it did. It was a blessing. The real going to stay real no matter what circumstance may come. The phony going to be phony. Appreciate that, Asa to Silver, bro. Keep the wisdom flowing to the people. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Hey, man, to all the ones that have been a blessing on tonight, I know that I've been cutting some of y'all, but you gave anyhow. Blessings to you. But like I said, I didn't expect, you know, I know what, you know, just like with any preacher or teacher, I know what messages to say to give to people like, oh, my God. But no, we don't need that. We're not waiting to 2019. We starting right now to be better people. 2019 is going to be your year. This season in 2000, I don't want to do that. I don't want to lie to you like the Christian preacher is going to do come New Year's time. I don't want to lie to you like the way the Baptist ministers are going to lie to you, the way that the prosperity preachers is going to lie to you for Christmas and for New Year's time. I don't want to do that. Don't wait until 2019 to be a better person. Don't wait until 2019 to be a better man. Don't wait until 2019 to be a better woman. For all you know, you might not see 2019. So you better live every day like it's your last. You better strive to do the things that's vital to your title every damn day. Don't wait until 2019 to do what you can do now. Redeem the time for the days are evil. You don't got time to be wasting Talking about 2019, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. No, do it now. Everything in your life that you know, you understand me, that you could be doing better. The areas that's vacant, the areas that you slacking in, the areas that you know your shortcomings. You need to sit up there and become a better man. You need to become a better woman. Why wait until 2019 when God gave you strength in another day today? You need to use your ability to the best of your ability and make it a responsibility to be the best you today, not just 2019. That's very arrogant for you to sit up there and say 2019. Who's to say that the Most High going to bless you to see 2019? I hope that you do see it. But who's to say that you are going to see it? You don't know that you're going to see it. Quit that out. You know what I mean? You need to be working on who you are today. Right now. You know your family Yes, Lord, it ain't nothing but the spirit of God. If you know that you got cancer in your family and you know that people die in your family from cancer, you need to start fighting cancer right now. Don't wait until your 40s or your 50s to say, woe is me. When you can do things right now in your 20s and you can do things right now in your 30s to fight things later on in your life. So when the enemy come against your body, you'll be able to sit up there and stand. Why? Because you did what you were supposed to do in the days of your youth. If you know that cancer exists within your family, you know, your mama, your grandmother, your great grandmother or your auntie, it just sit up there. You understand me and just killing everybody in your family. And stop putting that bullshit in your body. Stop doing things to accelerate to an expiration date before the appointed uh, time. Love yourself. You cannot say that you love this game and you sit up there and destroy the temple that houses this game. I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to me, too. How can we make the game better by loving ourselves? How can we make the game better by loving ourselves? Saying, what about everybody else? That's me. 
When you see a, a, a woman or women of mine, that's my reflection. That's a representation of me. That's me. So when I take care, when I sit up there and preside over my women wisely and correctly, I'm loving myself. Why? Because my women are a reflection of me. My women are my representation. That's me. When I sit up there and I uh, show any type of concern and kindness and love, you understand me, for my woman or women, I'm showing love to me because my woman is a reflection of me. My women are a reflection of me. When I show love to a young black man, I'm showing love to me. When I'm showing love to any young man or any young woman, I'm showing love to me. Why? Because that's my reflection. That's representation of this game. It's imperative for me to show love. Why? Because that's my reflection. Older pimp, the young pimps is your reflection. Older pimps, the young pimps, that's the new future of the game. And if you truly love the game, you're going to take out time to lace the youth up with the game. The love that you have for this game is supposed to be a consuming fire that the cares of this world cannot put out. They going up in the dislikes. Make sure you go up in the likes. While some idiot or idiots is hitting the dislike button where hatred and dislike exists, love yet more abound. Get them likes over 300. Hit that like button. Those that haven't hit the like button, if we got idiots and fools and you understand me, uh, riddling babies coming on one accord to sit up there and come against this game, you make sure you support this game. Hit that like button right now. You know what I mean? Because I don't see why. You know what I mean? But I see why. <laughs> I don't see why. But I see why. I don't know why you would hate on the game. But I see why. Because I haven't said anything wrong. But yes, I did. I told the truth. And the truth is against a liar. The truth is against those that abhor the game. So by all means, for those of you that hate the game, for those of you that despise the game, by all means, do what you're called to do. As Yahshua said, others say Jesus, as he said to, to, to Judas the Scarlet, do as thou doest. Do as thou do it immediately. Do it quickly. Whatever thou doest, do it quickly. You were predestined to betray me. You were predestined to hate on me. By all means, do as what's within your heart. You were predestined to be a hater of this game. So by all means, hit the dislike button. If you know that you're a hater, you know that you was called to hate on the game, you know that you was called to hate on me, then by all means, I want you to sit up there and be the bitch-ass motherfucker that you was called to be. Don't waste no time. Hit that dislike button, baby. And for those of you that appreciate, for those of you that love the exhortation and edification and love that has been shown forth towards the game, hit the like button right now. By all means, hit the share button right now. But if you're a hater, don't waste no time trying to be something else than what you were called to be. You know that you're not called to do anything else in life but hate. And I appreciate you for being a hater because it's because of the hatred. It's because of the dislike. It's because of the adversity that the real is encouraged and compelled to produce even greater. So you don't even know that you're being used by the game. Even the haters are being used by the game. Even the haters work harder than hoes. So you got to appreciate the haters too. They work way harder than hoes. Hoes do make the game of a pimp known, but nobody makes you more known than a hater. So I have to take out time to appreciate, you know what I mean, the haters as well. Because you could have been doing anything else at 158 in the morning, you know what I mean? But you here hating on me 
And I appreciate that because I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Because everybody that I know in life that was ever called or chosen or called to be a leader, they always had haters. So I need you guys to hit the dislike button, make more videos of slander, uh, do your best to try to stop this game because that's what you was called to do. But due to the fact that this game, which is the solution that is within me, is greater than any problem that you could produce. And if the game is still here going strong after all you individuals came together to hinder that, and if we're still going on, I think that we'll still be able to go on after a, a dislike. So by all means, hit the dislike button. By all means, slander my name. By all means, do what you were called to do. <laughs> I love this game. How could we make the game better? By having joy for the game. That's what we need. Let me tell you something about the joy of this game. A lot of you individuals don't understand that sometimes it's not about saying a 20 letter word. Sometimes it's not about saying a, a, a 25 letter word or saying nursery rhymes and all of that shit. It ain't about that. It's about being able to put a smile on that woman's face when she's in need of joy. You might be talking to a woman during the time of her Despair. She might be in distress. She might be going through something. But because you so full of joy and you the embodiment, you know what I mean, of joy at that time about the game, she might be like, what is this nigga happy about? And she'll gravitate to that. I've seen individuals, like I always say, and y'all always laugh all the time. But this is the truth. I remember an individual, I was coming right out of um, the Flamingo. And as I'm coming out of the Flamingo, I see this dude, see this nigga, this little fine thing getting ready to walk up. And, you know, I'm, I'm preparing myself, you know what I mean, because she, she making her way. You know what I mean? Anybody know how the old strip was? She coming from O'Shea's. I'm coming out the Flamingo. She coming out of O'Shea's getting ready to cross the street. So, you know, I got to make sure my ties tied right. I got to make sure, you know what I mean, that I'm looking right because I'm about to get at the bitch. I'm getting ready to have the bitch. But I didn't see, because anybody know anything about the Flamingo, at the, uh, 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 at the back, of the casino, they got little doors that you can walk out of. So he walks out of that, that door and he gets the opportunity to get at the bitch because he's seeing young Pippin getting ready to sit up there and get at the bra. So he hinders me. You know what I mean? He, he hinders me. So I thought. But in all actuality, he showed me something that night because he didn't say no profound Minister Farrakhan Malcolm X shit up out his mouth. He didn't say no Albert Einstein ass shit. He didn't say no Winston Churchill ass shit to this bitch. He spoke in the language of simplicity. He spoke with joy. And when he came up to her, he like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You like what you see, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. You like what you see, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you see with this shit. Yeah, yeah. You like what you see, don't you? And I mean to tell you, that young bitch got all out of bounds with him and stopped dead in her tracks and just began to smile at him and got out of, out of pocket, put her hand over her mouth was just getting all out of bounds. He like, yeah, 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 yeah. You want to choose. You know what you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. International pipping at you, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, international pipping with you. Yeah, yeah. You like what you see, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You like this shit, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you, bitch? That's what he did. That's all he did. I, I put, that's all he said. And she went from smiling and laughing to him taking, he took her in the back of the flamingo and walked down to the street, uh, that street with her 
ended up talking to her. I walked, you know, uh, towards those shades and I could see what was going on. He was chopping it up, but he ended up breaking on her. And he had her for a little while, too. But that's how he knocked her. He knocked her by having joy of this game. Some of y'all, the reason why you don't be knocking, because you don't have no joy. The pippin is live. The pippin not dead. You know what I mean? The pippin is not dead. And even if you're not, you know, a live wire, you know, when you're talking to a bride, you might be a smooth little motherfucker. You might be a laid back. And when you're talking to a bra, you know what I mean? You talking to her. But there's certain things about this game. I don't see how you can have that type of spirit. Especially if you hold us and dollars. When you hold us and dollars, that's the best time to show forth the uh, joy of this game. Because that depression going to keep you from your progression in the game. That depression going to lead you to tra committing transgressions against this game if you stay in the spirit of transgressions i mean if you stay in the spirit of depression you can never manifest the best you you can never do what you understand me the game called you to do and you depressed come on man that's some bitch shit man now we all go through it when somebody die or get killed i understand that but just because a bitch left you or you going through a tough time, man, get over that, man. Life too short to be sitting over there crying about that bitch. Keep that door open. She'll be back. And when she come back, charge her for something bigger than what you ever charged the bitch for. Make sure you charge her for more than some money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, many of y'all charge the bitch. You charge the bitch for the money. You charge the bitch for the currency. But, you know, due to the fact that the bitch still had no loyalty, she gave you the currency. But it was the same, came back to the same circumstance with the bitch. Because her, her mental didn't change. When she come back, make sure you charge her something more than just some money. Because the money, that's too small. Whether you charge her 10000 20000 charge fee over her head, you need to put that loyalty above her head as well. You need to sit up there and put something above her head that's going to take more than just green papers and dead hypocrites for her to get back in your good graces. You know what I mean? You're going to have to decide that be more. You you looking, you inside of the situation. Nobody can give you uh, better information, you know what I mean, than you, you inside the situation. You got to pimp. Uh, it depends on what the bitch did. You know what I mean, I don't want to give you uh, something and you go off with it and that ain't it ain't applicable for your situation. Some of y'all might be trying to apply what I'm saying now to the situation that you're in and the bitch called the police on you. What I'm saying ain't applicable for you. If a bitch called the police on you, you know what I mean, and you still deal with the bitch, don't say that the bitch is snitch or don't say that the bitch snitched on you. You snitched on yourself by accepting this snitch back in your household. If a bitch call the police on you, if a bitch sit up there, you understand me, and uh, uh, do any, uh, make a, a, a fucking statement or any of that, and you accept the bitch back, yeah, she's a snitch, but you, you accepted it, so, you know, you was cool with it. How could we make the game better? Thank you, game. That ain't nothing but this game. How could we make the game better? Watch this. I don't care if it's your enemy that went to jail. If your enemy went to jail behind a bitch snitching on him, any pimp, any man of character will not even take the bitch of the motherfucker that snitched on his enemy. It could be your worst enemy. And this bitch told on him. And he's doing time over this bitch. And she fine as a motherfucker. She a money getting bitch. But a motherfucker of character. A motherfucker of principle. A nigga that's wrapped up, tied up, and entangled up in this game. He not going to fuck with that bitch. Why? Because even a bitch that snitch on his enemy is his enemy. A bitch that snitch on my enemy is my enemy. 
Because I wouldn't even take a snitch, you know what I mean, that sit up there and snitched on my enemy. There's no justification for no snitching. So even if she put my enemy away that was trying to take my life away, and she sit up there, you understand me, and uh, uh, put somebody who was trying to kill me. This is a motherfucker that was trying to kill me, but the bitch snitched on him. Not only is he still my enemy, but this bitch is my enemy as well. Why? Because she snitched. So even if it's on my enemy, she's still an enemy. Why? Because I'm possessed of this game. I got character as a man. And if you saying that you a street nigga, I'm going outside of pimping right now. But if you say you a street nigga, a snitch of your enemy is your enemy. When you really got this shit in you. When you really got this shit in you. How can we make the game better? By standing on the principles of a man. By standing on the foundation of this game. By going back to certain ethics that seem like it's long and forgotten. How can we make this game better? By us coming on one accord and deciding on what we going to do and what we not going to allow. If I know I'm in the area and I know these uh, eight pimps, me and these eight pimps can go to a resort or a restaurant and we can sit down and chop it up on the prices that we're going to allow to be charged. Well, seeing why, seeing why you going to do that? Because if we could come on one accord, you understand me, for certain prices to be charged, then we wouldn't have all these fine, beautiful, attractive women sitting over there selling pussy, you understand me, for $20. Women ain't going to put their life in danger no more for $30. If we could come on one accord showing love to this game, together and stand on the principles of this game and be like, look, this is what we're about to do. We're about to open up this area. We're about to open up this area right now. And we're going to stand on these prices. And we don't give a fuck how long these bitches got to be out here. If we say that the bitch can't sit up there and suck and fuck, you understand me, under 300 or 250 or whatever you want to come under, whatever your price may be. If we say together that we're not going less than this, and any renegade bitch that's in this area that come trying to basically come and try to sell pussy for 50 and 60 and 80 dollars, we'll sit up there, you understand me, have some of our you know, me, I'm not in the game. I'm a square, but I'm just, you know, just thinking if I was in the game, some of my square partners, some of my little game banging niggas, some of my little young Thunderbirds, you know what I mean? I don't know what happened to that bitch. I don't know how she got beat up like that. Damn, that's fucked up. Somebody told her to stop selling pussy in this area, man, for 50 and $60, man, god damn, man, somebody gave that bitch a pumpkin head, man, god damn, man, that's fucked up, I don't know how that shit happened, man, well, god bless her, she'll heal up, yeah, you need to come together on one accord and establish that this is what's gonna go, and this is what's not gonna go, period, this is the time that we're going to be down. This is the time we're going to raise them up. And we're not going to sit up there, you understand me, and be out like the little broads. We're going to sit up there, you understand me, and be over here. So, therefore, by us being over here and they're over there, we're not too far just in case of some client, you know, some trick motherfucker feel like acting stupid. But we over here politicking, fellowshipping. Correcting, iron sharpening iron, you know what I mean? And chopping it up amongst each other. But we don't need to be in this area where we our faces is becoming common to the police. We don't need to be doing that. 
But we need to bring the value of pussy up. We need to bring the price of pussy up. We need to bring the value and price of head up. Because the pimping need to be paid. The game need to be back where it was. We need to start telling these young motherfuckers, you know, that's cool that you got your little this or that. But have you paid a bondsman? When the last time you went to go see a lawyer? I don't got no case. You don't need no case. Don't you understand that in this lifestyle, anything can happen? You presiding over a bitch that's governed by emotions, nigga. Anything can motherfucking happen. You got to be ready, nigga. Because the authentic stay ready. So you need a bondsman that's paid. You need a lawyer that's paid. You know what I mean? Let's not wait to the fourth quarter with five minutes left in the game and we down by 20. No. Let's make good decisions <clears throat> while we up by 20 at halftime. So we are for sure, for sure, win the game by 40. If we make the correct wise decisions. You know what I mean? We cannot allow these women to do whatever they want to do. We got to sit up there, you understand me, and work on dress code. How are these women dressing themselves? Hold on. If a nigga sit up there and he's sending a bitch over here and she looking like a goddamn bum, then we need to pull that nigga to the side and have some re rebuking service. You know what I mean? Turtle man, you don't know what you're talking about. Just, just, you know, stay back. You lost in the sauce right now. For those that's green to the game and in need of game, be quiet. Sit back. You know what I mean? As the old church mothers used to say, sit down, shut up, and shut in everything like God. So what y'all need to do, sit down, shut up, and have a shut in with this game. You know what I mean? Let me see. But hold on. Turtle man, listen, bro, I'm asking you. I'm going to ask you again. I'm going to leave and let your comments show. But, bro, be quiet. You don't know what you're talking about. If you want to challenge me or debate me on something, go to Instagram. S-I-N two underscores F-U-L. Anything that I said. You can debate me, question me, and I will answer all your questions or debate you on any subject that I've spoke on. But right now is not the time to be putting your little green thoughts in the comment section. But, you know, when you have, you know, a woman or women that you take pride in because, you know, real pimps, they take pride in how they dress their women. You know what I mean? Real pimps don't send their women looking like they just had a shopping spree at Rainbow or Kmart, send a bitch out the door looking like $2, and you expect the bitch to bring you back the whole world. It don't go like that. The probability of her making a lot of currency is high when you basically dress her accordingly. When you sit up there and you dress that woman you know what I mean? In the right attire, you send her out there in the right attitude, she going to bring back a multitude. She going to bring it back. You know what I mean? But you cannot sit up there and you, you, you dress in the woman. Like I said, we have to talk some uh, talk amongst each other. Because a lot of times when I'm sitting over there and, you know, riding around, you know, looking at, you know, different blades and things. The way that a lot of you guys dress your bitches, ain't no wonder, you know what I mean, why you ain't making no money. You got niggas right now, I ain't going to say the blade name, you got niggas right now. Man, I ain't never made a thousand dollars, you know, on this blade. Listen, everybody knows certain areas. Especially in AZ. And if you've never checked, you know what I mean? A uh, $1,000, you know what I mean? Within a 24-hour period, 
You know what I mean? On, especially on certain blades with certain women. Because some of y'all actually have attractive women. This bitch face is attractive. She got ass. She got titties. But she's still bringing in $250 and $400. And on her best day, $600. That bitch is a reflection of your green ass. Anytime you have an ignorant nigga, you're going to see an ignorant bitch. Anytime you see a green ass, you understand me, nigga, you're going to see a green ass bitch. And he's green. Hit that like button right now. We should have been over 300 likes. But hit that like button right now. Quit playing with the game. If you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. If you haven't hit the share button, share this game. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But you know what I mean? She she's a reflection of the man that she's dealing with. So if the man has nothing to introduce to her, she's not going to produce nothing in the game. She's only producing what her man introduced her to. You know what I mean? So if you have an individual who uh, doesn't know how to teach her how to dress, because most of these bitches that claim to be hoes. They don't know how to dress. I'm just being real. They don't. Most of these women, they don't know how to dress. Uh, and don't know. you don't know how to dress the bitch. You don't know how to teach her how to conduct herself in the presence of a trick. You know what I mean? So if the bitch don't know how to dress, don't know how to conduct herself, you know what I mean, uh, with a trick, then she said up there, you understand me? She don't have she don't have no stand down with her because most of you niggas only keep the bitch down about three or four hours. And if she your baby mama, she might not even be down that long. That's a lot of reasons why you niggas ain't seeing no money out there on them blades, man. Because you don't believe in pimping. Flox, uh, appreciate the uh, five, bro. Drink water today, loved ones. That's a blessing. You know what I mean? But that's just being... All the way real. It's innumerable reasons why a lot of y'all not getting no money in the game. It's a lot of reasons why you ain't seen a little measly $1,000 in a 24-hour period on uh, some of these blades. Because you don't believe in pimping. Bitch only been out here three, four hours. In the three, four hours that she been out, she spent two hours and 45 minutes of four hours Sitting over there, I won't even say hocializing because it ain't no hoes. But I say squirrelizing. They out here squirrelizing, prostitutizing with each other. And you got a whole bunch of, you understand me, female act, uh, little actresses and shit. Oh, girl, you used to look so cute. Girl, I saw what you had on last night. Yeah, he had me playing that track last night. So I couldn't come over here. Girl, you was looking good. I seen you. All on your live. I was like, I want to be out here with my friend. Oh my God, you so cute. Girl, yes. Girl, where is Shay? Oh, she called a day. Oh, okay. I'm going to wait on that bitch to come back. And because you niggas don't run your homes, because the truth of the matter is, Pippin started home. And when you send your bitch out, she's sitting over there talking to. Five and six other little motherfuckers that ain't came out here for no money. They here for perfect attendance. They not here for the Benjamins. They here for attendance. They here for a fucking fashion show. They not here to be no hoe. You got bitches that come to the blade just to walk up and down like it's a fucking runway. You got bitches that go to the blade. They come into the track to do cardio. They not coming for a bankroll. So if you got Bitches that's on the motherfucking blade, that's squirrelizing, prostitutizing with each other. You know what I mean? And then you riding by and you seeing this shit. And you scared to correct the bitch because every time you try to correct the bitch, she get in the attitude and act like she want to leave. And you afraid of blowing the bitch. You so afraid of blowing the bitch that you can't even pimp. You doing everything in your power to keep this bitch, but she ain't doing a goddamn thing to keep your motherfucking ass. This is not the pimping. Anytime that you saying everything, 
Anytime that you doing everything to keep this bitch and she's doing nothing to keep you, this is not pimping. You sat up there and took her to a different track because she didn't like this one. It was so slow out here. It wasn't no real tricks out here. You know what I mean? I got her. It wasn't. I stayed down. So you moved into this track. Took her to this one. Oh my God, they told me, you didn't tell me that you had me out here. You know what I mean? They told me that my folks was green because you got me out here on Vice Night. I ain't supposed to be out here on Vice Night. You know, and, and, and you, you act like you don't even care about me because I called No Fee uh, T.T. Wanda and she sat up there and she said that her and her folks they just, you know, they they in the game. They watching LeBron, you know, at the at the room. They at Motel Six right now with good Domino's, Philly cheese steak sandwich, cheese bread, and they watching LeBron and the Lakers sit up there and play against Golden State. But you got me out here on Vice Night. You don't even care about me. You don't even care about me. Baby, I do care about you. Baby, I do like you. Come on, man. You got to stay down. Now, I don't know. I don't know if this for me. I don't know if this for me. I don't know if, if I want to stay down with you because, you know, you just got me all out here on Vice Night. You don't care. And I'm not saying, you know what I mean, that, you know, I wouldn't go to jail. But it's like, damn, do you want me to get the money or do you want me, you know what I mean, to go to jail? And you sending me on vice night, so you want me to go to jail. And instead of you doing what the spirit of Pippin put on your mind, what's going on, Dub? Have the spirit of Pippin put on your spirit and mind and heart to do, you sit up there and you understand me and You sit up there and made a deal with the bitch. Listen, 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 listen. No, don't leave. Don't leave. Listen, 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 listen. You you gonna be my bottom bitch. You you my bottom bitch. See, see, I didn't have bitches before you, but you know what I mean? They didn't mean nothing. You my bottom bitch. You know what I mean? You you the realest bitch I ever known. I can't lose you right now. You know what I mean? You you a real bitch. Just trust me. We gonna have millions in the game. You know what I mean? For real. We gonna get married. We gonna have kids. We gonna do all of that. You my bottom bitch. You my real bitch. I can't lose you. And because these niggas be saying all of this, uh, you know, I'll taste your ass, jacket edge, let's get married, love Jones, sleepless in Seattle ass shit to this bitch. The bitch, come, she basically come out the incubator not respecting this game. He didn't produce no pimping, so the bitch don't have no pimping to respect. Because any and every time that she get into an attitude, he switch with her attitude. And we have a lot of these niggas in the game. We have a lot of these individuals right now that's professing to be pimps right now. We do. You know what I mean? We do. But I want you to know that you're not a pimp. I'm going to say that again. I want that to register to you. If you are saying and doing everything to keep her, but she ain't saying and doing everything to keep you and her life, this is not the pimp. This situation has nothing to do with pimping and horn. This is a boyfriend that's trying to maintain a girl that really don't want to be his girlfriend prostitute. This ain't got nothing to do with no pimping. This ain't got nothing to do with horn. This is square business. This is some motherfucking toy story ass shit. You know what I mean? This ain't got nothing to do with this game. And most of the individuals that's professing pimping today... This is their situation. How can we make the game better? Let me tell you something else. Ladies, 
A lot of times we put a lot of pressure on the men, but I have to talk to you guys because when you take that money out your purse or when you take that money out your bra or where your pussy or whatever, and you put it in the hands of an individual that's not this pimping, you are sitting over there creating monsters. You're creating fraudulent individuals. Each and every time that you try to create a pimp, each and every time that you try to create, you understand me, some ism. I want you to know that you're sitting over there creating something fraudulent. And that's why we got a whole population of fraudulent individuals that don't possess no pimping that's in the game right now. Because some bitch wanted to make her boyfriend into a pimp. And once that bitch put that money in his hand, it was it, all of the pimps could have came together and gave logical reasons on why this nigga is not a pimp. And even though it's making sense, he's not going he can't appear to it. Why? Because all he looking at is money. So this bitch didn't allow this counterfeit to reap off the benefits of this motherfucking game simply because she decided to do some lame ass shit. And that's wrong. That's backwards. So to the ladies, you know what I mean? Before you take a trap, you know what I mean? And you put it in the hands of an individual. I want you to think on how this can affect the game. Because some of y'all want to make this crip or this blood or this GD or BD, you know what I mean? Into a PIMP because he got long hair. Because he got good dick. Because he ate your pussy right. Because he sat up there and said, you know what I mean, sweet nothings. Because you didn't heard some beautiful old lies from a cute new mouth to you. And now you're trying to create something that you don't even have the power to create. A lot of false, uh, uh, falsified ass niggas. A lot of hypocrites. A lot of motherfuckers that don't possess no pimping at all. Is in this motherfucking you understand me game because a bitch set up there and gave the nigga some money. She gave her boyfriend some money. I give you one example. It was a nigga in New Orleans. And he, he got some cool little ways about himself. He just ain't just pimping. And he was working inside of a uh, a hotel. He was the little cleanup man. He was the little cleanup boy. All of us have a beginning. All of us have a past. I'm not saying that to say this, but I'm going somewhere. Follow me. He was the little cleanup man. He be he was the dude that after you finish in your hotel room, he come behind and he make sure that the room is good. So he would come in the room and he cleaning up the room. And one day he was cleaning up the room of a supposed to be hoe that was with a uh, she come from a legend originally from Chicago. That's where she really got her game from. She didn't pay some little busters. She didn't pay some little male actresses and shit. But she get her game. She became a thief by messing with a legend out of Chicago. So she get involved with this cleaner dude. She like him. They start fucking around. And they start fucking. She started sucking his dick. She started liking him. He started liking her. She decided to give him some money. Now he think he a pimp. And she been sitting over there. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, sometimes she regretted. Sometimes, you know what I mean? But now that very same dude. That she. Uh, hold on. That very same dude. I got to tell the ending. That very same dude years ago that she gave money to that was professing pimping. He married now. <laughs> he married now. He he doing what he's supposed to do. Being a square. Because that's what the fuck he was. From the gate. And I'm not saying he's a square because he's married. I'm saying he's doing what he's supposed to do as a man right now. He married. He doing what he's supposed to do. He was never supposed to be acting like a pimp. That's not him. So, you know what I mean? Uh, finally, he's out the way. But he messed over a lot of bitches' lives while he was in the game because he didn't have no game to give them.
So your manhood is part of the family. Bro, you got to go because you just saying a bunch of goofy ass shit. Goodbye. I tried to be merciful to you, but you was just saying a whole bunch of like dumb ass shit that ain't have nothing to do with nothing. You one of them niggas that hurt eight ball and MJG. You watch pimps up and hoes down, and now you think you got some game, bro. Sit down. Um, but you know you tried to be uh merciful to him, and he just kept on right, Clyde. Just kept on saying dumb after dumb ass shit after dumb ass shit. Clever, what's happening, man? Blessings to gave him a chance, Clyde. And he just kept on saying dumb ass shit. Clever, uh, blessings to you, man. You know what I mean? Blessings uh, to you. I didn't see you uh, come in. You know what I mean? And ladies that's watching. But ladies, that's how we have a lot of fraudulent individuals in the game. What you have to understand, well, let me show you something. When you bring a boyfriend or a motherfucker who has the heart and mind of a fucking game banger and you bring him into this game, guess what? When you decide that you don't want to be with him no more and you want to be with a real pimp, now you put that pimp in a bad circumstance with this fucking game banger because he's not seeing this situation like a pimp would see this situation. You know what I mean? He ain't seeing this from a pimp's perspective. He looking at it from a game banger's perspective. Nigga, you took taking my woman. Nigga, fuck you. You know what I mean? You taking my you taking my woman, nigga. Fuck this nigga. So, because this individual gonna look at shit the way that a game banger will look at things, you know what I mean? You basically put the pimpin' in harm's way. I don't have nothing against boyfriends. Come on, man. You, you have to listen. God damn. Men shouldn't be, guys shouldn't be sensitive like that. But I'm not angry at you. I just, I accept you for being you. But let me say this. I don't have nothing against boyfriends. But the pimpin' is not a boyfriend. Okay? The pimpin' is not a boyfriend. Okay? That's, I don't have, if you want to be a boyfriend and you know it's in you to be a boyfriend, by all means, be a boyfriend. If you know that you're supposed to be a husband of a woman right now and taking care of your wife, take care of your wife. I don't have anything against boyfriends and girlfriends. It's just that that shouldn't be within the lifestyle of pimping and horn. That's what I'm saying. Okay? So don't cry or get in your feelings or commit suicide because of certain things that I said that you might have misinterpreted. You know what I mean? Don't, don't do that. Just ask for clarity. And I will bless thee at the appointed time. But getting back to what I'm saying, this nigga that you met called 180 Kevin or AK-40 Steven, he eat your ass good. He basically, you understand me, tasting your pussy, fucking the dog shit out of you. You like him. You know what I mean? You having good conversations, you know, with him. So you decide to give him some money because... You know what I mean? You want to bring him into the game. You think he'll be a good pimp. You know what I mean? He's nice looking. You think the women will like his appearance and he mean business. And you think that you're going to come together with him as one while y'all sit up there and recruit bitches to support y'all little dreams like the little movie uh, Pimp with the little Kiki bra, except it's a guy involved. And that's what you want to do. And I want to tell you that you're going to reap what you have sown. Some of you going to wonder, why is the game whooping my ass like this? Why the game don't bless me with licks the way that it used to? Why I'm not getting the numbers that I used to get? What did I do? I want to tell you that whenever you put somebody fraudulent in the game, whenever you put a counterfeit in the game, whenever you... Uh, 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 accept the individual for being a hypocrite and keep giving the benefits to this counterfeit or to this hypocrite. I want you to know the game going to spank your ass. Woe unto every bitch that sit up there, you understand me, and disrespect this game and give the benefits of this game to individuals that had no business being in the game in the first place. 
you are going to suffer. You're going to have some type of suffering for disrespecting this game. Blessings to Boss D for coming in. Ezekiel, what's happening? Blessings to my nigga, man of war. You know what I mean? Uh, Sir Seco, blessings to you. Alicia, hey, baby. Jay Evans, bro, blessings to you. You know, each and every time you give the money to an individual that's not the pimping, you might as well throw it in the trash. You might as well throw the money in the toilet. And let me also to say this to you. You can hit a $100,000 lick. You can hit a million dollar lick. But if the pimping didn't count it, it don't count. So if you gave it to a fraudulent individual, a counterfeit, a stranger, or a game banger to the game, guess what? It didn't count. If you checked a million dollars and you gave it to an individual that was not this pimping, it did not count. That don't count. Stop bragging about stuff that don't count. If the pimping didn't count, count it, it don't count. I should have been done a video with that as the title. But if the pimping don't count it, it don't count. Might do make it a short video, 10 minutes or something. But if the pimping didn't count it, it don't count. You bragging about something that the pimping didn't count. In the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing, not renegading in the boyfriend, not, you understand me, I think I'm hoeing, this my boo thing to pee. In the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing, the only things that you do for the game shall last within the game. The only things that you do for the game will only count within the game. Anything outside of the game, that does not count. Stop bragging on what you gave your boyfriend. Stop bragging on how you gave 40000 to a fucking rapper within a month. Bitch, that does not count. That don't count. That don't count. I paid, I gave 40000 to Filthy Rich. Bitch, that didn't count. I gave 50000 to Mozzie. Bitch, that didn't count. That don't count. I gave I gave a hundred thousand to Too Short back in 1996. Bitch, that didn't count. I gave two hundred thousand to Pimp C to Sweet Jones. <laughs> Bitch, that didn't count. Anything that the Pippin didn't count, it don't count. You sitting over here paying these rappers, not a pimp that raps. Not a pimp that has the ability to rap. You paying a rapper that don't got the ability to pimp. You paying a rapper that don't have the information to pimp. It's a difference. There's a difference from a pimp who's been blessed with their talent, the talent and ability to rap or sing or produce or be a musician versus basically a rapper, a musician, or producer that don't have the ability, the information to pimp. I paid too short. I paid Pimp C. I gave <laughs> back in 2000 and, and, and back in 2000, I seen Ice T, you know what I mean, in Hawaii. And I gave him a Rolex and I gave him 20,000. <laughs> you stupid ass bitch, you. That don't count. All these niggas listening to shit that don't even count. Stop entertaining that shit. Cut that bitch off. Bitch in the conversation, interrupt that. And then, you know, I, um, and then, you know, I paid J Diggs. I was fucking with J Diggs. You know, he had me, you know what I mean? His crew. And I gave J Diggs a cool little run. And then after I left, you know, J Diggs, you know, I was paying, you know what I mean? Some other niggas from Sacramento. I don't, I don't want to say his name. I don't want to say his name though. Then after I paid him, you know, I gave a, a brand new car. You know what I mean? I, I gave a brand new Lexus to Jay Stalin. You know, bitch, these niggas ain't pimps. These are rappers. These are rappers. When you watch that interview that Too Short just did with Vlad, he said that he was at a fucking party in a damn so-called hole 
walked up to him, and I know he wasn't lying, uh, just gave him fifteen or sixteen hundred. I forgot how much. Just gave him some money. You dumbass bitch, you paying rappers. That shit don't count. You know, and I should be treated. Bitch thinks she should be treated a certain way because she used to be with filthy rich. And I'm not hating on none of these dudes. They just not pimps. I, I like some of the music that filthy put out. As a matter of fact, if you click on channels, what I want y'all to do, you don't even need my moderators. A lot of times they put the links in the comment section so you can click and subscribe. But if you want to subscribe to my channel, all you got to do, uh, do is this, okay? To my uh, people that's not subscribed to my channels, this is what I want you to do. Watch this. I want everybody, when you get a chance to do this, you can click on my channel or wherever. Then, hold on, let me show you. Let me show you. See this? See that right there? See channels? I want you to go subscribe to all CN's channels. These are my channels. I just started a simple Instagram live video channel. All my lives for everybody that got questions for me. You can come to SIN, two underscores, F-U-L. Follow me whenever I go live, whatever question you got. You know what I mean? We can go live together. The video will be posted on this channel. You know what I mean? Uh, and my Blade Music Videos channel. I got hella music on there. I got a new app that I've been putting music on. You know what I mean? I want you to go there. I put some new filthy on. You know what I mean? I, I got uh, messy. Oh, all them motherfuckers over there. Sugar free. And when I'm speaking on trending topics, come to this uh, Sinful to P Views channel and hit the subscribe and bell. Don't just hit the subscribe, but hit the bell. And this game for ladies channel, ladies, I want all of Hold on. All the ladies, I want you to come here. Come to this channel. The Game for Ladies channel. And I want you to do this. I'm going to show you. When you come, I want you to hit the subscribe. See the subscribe right there? And it's very important that you click on this so you can get notified whenever I post something. Okay? Hold on. Let's go back. This is how you be like, how's CNBC and he alive on his phone? Because I got my computer right here. You know what I mean? I got I got the computer right here. But I'm live on my phone. And this is how I get to see you guys. See how that's showing that now? But I can see the comment section over here. That's how CNBC has been doing all his videos. So hold on. Yep, we got this big, not on the laptop, not on the computer, not on nothing fancy. We got this big. We came, you understand me, this strong, going on 34,000 people by seeing just hitting the live button, talking shit, and y'all loving the game, sharing it on Facebook, sharing it on Instagram, sharing it on Snapchat, sharing it on Twitter, and I appreciate you guys because you know I'm not computer savvy like everybody else. I don't, I don't have all the equipment like everybody else. You know, if y'all tell me, like, sin, take it up a notch. We need to do this and do that. I'm up here to the game. We're going to sit up there and get the equipment, make the channel better. If you want all the fancy designs, me, I don't give a damn. Plus, I didn't want to do it here because those that uh, know me, I'm endeavoring to do some other things. Now, when that transition transpire, then I do all of that. But for now, you know. It you know, wouldn't make me no never mind. Because I know individuals that got all of them good designs that they channel. They really do. But when they go live, it's 20 people watching. Ain't nobody watching this shit. Ain't nobody going to watch this shit until they put somebody important in the title. And it's some type of negativity because black people gravitate to negativity. You know what I mean? But if it don't be for negativity, they pretty much don't got no viewers. You would never see 200 people live at certain people's shit. You'll never see 500 motherfuckers 
watching certain people on YouTube unless they, you know, doing some type of roasting or they have some type of beef or something like that, which is another reason why I don't want to go back and forth with Hassan Campbell. Because if your message is about, you know, protecting the children from pedophiles, then get on your job. Don't try to keep up beef because you're running out of topics. That's lame to me. Hit this like button. Hit that like button. Come on. Get it over 300 likes. Should have been over 400. Be like, Sam, no here preacher. He be always working us. If we was at 400, he'd be like, come on, get the 500. You know this game. It's just like if a bitch sit up there, you understand me? She check. A bitch sit up there and check a thousand. Be like, come on, let's stay down. You know what I mean? We're going to get to that 15. Ooh, damn, we can't go in at 1,500. 2,000 is right there. Come on, man. Damn, do you really want to go in? I know we've been down for, you know what I mean, 14 hours, but you know what I mean? We need to stay down for, don't you think? 2,500 sounds good. Better than 2,000, don't it? You know this game. Come on now. You know what I mean? But by all means, man, you know what I mean? It's 301 people watching. It's 300 likes. It is what it is. You know what I mean? But I want to tell you, before I go back a little bit to the fellas, ladies, think about who you give the money to. Ladies, think about who you're selecting. Because there's too many bums in the lifestyle right now. It's too many guys who are not even intelligent enough. They're not even on the same mental plane, you know what I mean, as a pimp, to even be participating in the game. And you guys are putting a lot of guys that are not intelligent enough to be in this game. You're not. I'm just being real. You're not. You know what I mean? You're putting a lot of guys that can't even... Sit up there, you understand me? They don't even know. People be laughing. But some of these guys don't even know their social security number. And if a guy don't know his social security number, baby, how he going to help you with your life? Some of these guys can't write in cursive. Some of these guys can't spell their name on a smartphone. Some of these guys can't solve nine times nine on a motherfucking calculator. You know what I mean? And this is the guy, baby, that you're going to point over your life to preside over your life. Some of these guys can't even teach your two-year-old how to tie their shoes. You know what I'm saying? And this is the individual, baby, that you're going to appoint over your life? Seriously. You know what I mean? I just, I got to be all the way, you know, 100 with you. Think before you do something. Let me also say this to you. Uh, another thing, we have a lot of individuals that will put money above the game. Okay? And a lot of them same guys that put money above the game, money over character and money over this, these are the same individuals that would, you understand me, uh, uh, put money over this. And the reason for that is they come out of the dope game. A lot of these niggas were con artists before they sat up there and got, you know, involved. They was some con men. So when you take individuals who used to be conning, who were deceitful, who were selling drugs, they going to see you, bitch, as the sack. He see you as the sack. He has a hustler's mentality. He got a drug dealer's mentality. You know what I mean? So when you sit up there and you get involved with an individual like that, he trying to tell his friends, you know what I mean, that they could be in the lifestyle. And next thing you know, you got a whole bunch of dumb motherfuckers participating in the game. You know what I mean? That ain't got no business being in the game in the first place. Okay, hold on. Jay, calm down, bro. I'm going to give you warning, too. Just sit back. Don't ask me no more square-ass questions. Um, it's a time and place for that. I answer all your square ass questions at a later time. But no, I'm not about to answer whether or not, you know, man, so was Pimp C? How was his? Come on, man, stop it. That's square shit. 
collection play. Good game, man. Pre, uh, 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 what is that? Theraton. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate the five. You know what I mean? Good looking. You know, but we got to prevent this type of shit from coming into the game, man. I'm just got to be all the way 100, man. You know what I mean? Tony, no. You know, uh, uh, and I, I feel what you're saying. That's, that's a classic. But I'm getting ready to rap. So let me sit up there and bring it in. You know, uh, you know, but yeah, I, I have to agree with you, Tony. That's one of the coldest. But, um, you know, when you sit up there and you take a Instagram wannabe, a Facebook wannabe, and you take them little guys out that little pimping hoe group, or you take some little guy on Instagram that's repeating what he heard from a Pippin' Ken film, what he didn't heard basically from Kenny Red, and he basically repeating what he heard from K Red or what he heard uh, from Pippin' Ken, and he repeat those to you. You know what I mean? And you know that because you've seen the film as well. Why did you entertain that? Why did you keep talking to that individual? Why did you sit up there, you understand me, and, and got this individual not thinking that he's the pimpin'? Some of these individuals, if they were told that they was lames from the very beginning, they would have never been provoked to keep going on. If they could have basically, you know what I mean, been told from the very beginning, like, man, listen, you can rap or you can sing or we need more doctors or we need more you know, individuals, you know what I mean, that's, you know, beneficial to society. We need more individuals like that. So with all that being said, you know what I mean, we don't need you being the pimping. You know what I mean? If we could have had a lot of individuals that would have came together and set up there, you understand me, and told that individual that, some of these individuals that, some of these niggas wouldn't be doing 15 and 20 years. All right? Some of them niggas wouldn't have a top ramen soup that they trying to heat up right now in this early morning. If somebody would have said, you know what I mean, man, I see a future, you know what I mean, in that with you, man. Like, yeah, man, you're going to be you're going to be a cold lawyer. You know what I mean? You're going to make a cold lawyer, man. A cold one. Don't, don't, and pimps, man, gangsters, max, hustlers, man. We need lawyers, man. We need you, man. You know what I mean? But if he would have got the cold, hard truth of this game from the very beginning, he never would have tried to make a start. But the reason why a lot of these individuals are making start, because you have motherfuckers encouraging them in they mess. And that's a no-no. How can we make the game better? When we see individuals who are not of this game, that don't have no type of potential to sit up there and be in this game, we have to let that brother know. Some you got to know wisely because some will want to beat your ass or kill you if you tell them some shit like that. So you better come in the spirit of wisdom, you know what I mean, with certain individuals. Because by them not being the pimping, you know, and you saying that they not the pimping, they ready to, to attack simply because they not the pimping. They want God to bless them with the same capabilities that you was blessed with. They want God to fuck with them the way that God fuck with you. They want the game to fuck with them the way that the game fuck with you. And God and the game don't fuck with them the way that God and the game fuck with you. So you have a lot of individuals that would be mad and upset for that very same reason. So come in the spirit of wisdom, a soft word to turn away wrath. Come in the spirit of wisdom when you speak to an individual. Remember, all things must be present, uh, presentable before it's susceptible. So come with a wise presentation when you convey uh, the right information to these uh, individuals. You know what I mean? Um it's so many, you know, I'll be all day t talking about how we can make 
you know what I mean, the game better. Another way that we can make the game better is for all of these individuals, because like I told you, when a motherfucker love money more than his game, he don't care nothing about his women. He has sent his women out there to have unprotected sex. Why? Because it leads to money. And we have individuals like that in this game. And these individuals feel comfortable calling themselves pimps because real pimps congregate, communicate, and fellowship with these individuals. And as long as we got that, that's his business mentality, the game going to stay fucked up. These women going to stay getting sexually transmitted diseases. And by her getting a sexually transmitted disease from a fucking trick, she going to sit up there when she blow up from this nigga. Because you got some niggas, oh, man, you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck what they do with the trick, man. You know, I ain't touch the bitch. I ain't fucking her. And so since you got this whole hustler who's not a pimp that's presiding over this real hoe, and, uh, well, this bitch who has whole potential, because if she was a real hoe, she wouldn't be fucking with him. But, you know what I mean? She got whole potential. And, you know, once she blow up from him or their situation, you know what I mean, is no longer, she go to the next individual and this bitch don't even know she a fucking walking disease. You got bitches in the game right now, they are walking disease and don't even know it. You got bitches right now that's carrying herpes and they don't even know it. You got bitches right now, you understand me, that's carrying sexually transmitted diseases, that's carrying death in their body right now, and the symptoms is not showing. So for individuals to sit up there and congregate and communicate and fellowship with individuals like this and make it comfortable for them to be around this pimping, you are an enabler of bullshit. You are an enabler of killers. You are an enabler. You supporting pimps being killed. You supporting pimps getting diseases. Each and every time you kick it with an individual that encourages women to do anything and everything for some goddamn money, you are encouraging death to pimps. You are an enemy to the game. Because real pimps that truly have a sincere, earnest love for the game, they couldn't be around an individual that's encouraging women to go to the slaughter. And each and every goddamn time that you encourage and entice a woman to get involved with a trick sexually in exchange for some currency, doing anything and everything without protection, you don't love this game. You sitting over there fellowshipping with him and kicking it with this nigga like he's some pimping. Anytime you kicking it with these non-pimping ass niggas and you fellowshipping with these non-pimping ass niggas, niggas that ain't got one pimp bone in the, uh, they body, you understand me? They feel like they pimps. We got snitches that feel like they pimps. We got sucker ass niggas that feel like they pimps. We got pedophiles that feel like they pimps. We got homosexuals that feel like they pimps. Why? Because you bitches is paying them and you niggas is fellowshipping and congregating with these niggas. Niggas that got a long history, you know what I mean? Not ignorantly, knowingly, no false identification or nothing involved. Bitch said that she was 13. She said, I can't even say bitch. Little baby, the baby said that she was 13. She said that she was 14. She said that she was 15. She said that she was 16. She said that she was 12. And he still proceeded to go on. He knew that if he basically caught a case in this situation, that he would be facing all day, that he would be facing hundreds of years. So he cared more about green papers with dead hypocrites on it more than his freedom. And any individual that cares about money more than principle, more than the, the foundation of this game, more than manhood, more, you understand me, than his freedom, he's not no pimp. He's not no pimp. He's not no pimp. And we have a lot of individuals that's professing to be pimps that will sell a baby. As you know, in my case and other people's cases and shit like that, 
It was deception in the play. I didn't have no history before that, and I don't got no history after that. I apologize for my part, which was a big part because it was my fault and didn't want to make no justification. But seeing she had false identification, she deceived the police as a grown ass man. Little girls lie about their age, whether she has a false ID or not. That's my fault as a man. And I can sit up there and admit that that's my fault because there is no justifiable reason on why sin messed up like that, even though that was in 2008 and 2019 and probably in 2030. I will always have to sit up there and give clarity about the situation and apologize to new people that's hearing about the information simply because of that bullshit that occurred in 2008 by being my fault. But young man, you don't have to go through what I go through. You don't have to have that slander on your name. You don't have to get that F on your report card. Why? Because I'm standing in the gap telling you about all the F's in mine. To them young men that is on their way of ending up in a situation where they got a minor or they are on their way to a situation where they got a bride that's 25 or 35, but she got a mentality like she's 15 years old. They don't have to end up in an incarceration for decades if we had a multitude of lace loving pimps that love this game. Not you understand me so much. You know, of course, every man for himself to a certain extent. But when you really love this game and you see a young P, you know, doing things contrary to wisdom, you're going to take time out your day to lace that young P up. Because you don't want him repeating the same shit that you've done. And yes, that was in 2008. But you're going to have people make videos. And even in the future, when I finally... uh you know what I mean? Make my transition over into spirituality in the future. The slander, the hatred, the lies will even be more even then. But due to the fact that I'm consumed with this game, yeah, due to the fact, you understand me, that this game is within me, due to the fact that I have the ministry of a preacher and a teacher, Due to the fact that the anointing of the Most High is upon my life and the anointing of this game, whatever problem or whatever lie or whatever accusation that they throw at me, this game will take me over. This game will help me to conquer. This game will help me be victorious in any situation that I'm in because there is no, no problem, no situation, no tribulation that is that bad that it can fuck with this game that is within me. No, it is not. And the same mentality that I have is the same mentality that you got to have. You know what I mean? You got to have that same mentality as well. Any situation that, you understand me, that life brings, the game within you got to be stronger than all of those problems. That problem, a woman shouldn't be able to produce a problem that the game, the solution within you is not the answer to. Each and every day you should be reading. Each and every day you should be studying. Each and every day you should be strategizing and rationalizing and organizing your thoughts for better results in your life, her life, and all of the lives that you preside over. As the brother Malcolm X said, and I want to take that and bring that to the lifestyle. We want to do the same thing as the, uh, when the Honorable Minister Malcolm X was in the Nation of Islam and even when he got out of the Nation of Islam. Brother Malcolm's mentality was to present, represent, and defend. Present, represent, and defend. And as a representative of the lifestyle, we're supposed to be able to present the game, represent the game, and defend the game if need be. That is a true informative representative of the game. Period. When you read in the way that you should be reading and studying the way that you should be studying, it might be a square with, you know, a beautiful square that got a degree. She got a master's and you won't be you won't be intimidated. You won't feel inferior to her. Why? First of all, you're a man. And number two, you know what I mean? You're a man of confidence. You're a man of intelligence. This woman can't sit up there and 
spank you within a motherfucking debate. You governed by this game. So how can we make the game better? By producing a new, you understand me, new thinkers. Uh, as far as the people my age and older, they have their thoughts. A lot of them have a, a, a mental retardation in a lot of areas. So I don't even waste my time with them. You know what I mean? But I want to, in the future, and this won't be the last time I speak on it, but in the future, I want to create a movement that will be so powerful that after I die, or even before I die, when I make my transformation, the information that was left, you know what I mean, uh, behind the youth after me and the youth after them, the generations to come, can watch videos of different meetings that we had or different videos that were seen on here or different books that was written. And they can sit up there and get edified. They can, you know what I mean, get their enlightenment. They can get, you know what I mean, some encouragement to go to the pavement to get their development in the game. I told you I still have that beautiful thought in my mind. I still want to do it. It's going to take some time. But I told you that certain books that I want to bring out, you know what I mean? The enemy don't want me to bring them books out because if I was able to bring certain books out, you know what I mean? This is going to be a blessing to the game forever. Why? Because sin has thoughts that pretty much have never been thought of. I told you that one of my thoughts, you know, uh, outside of my biography, I wanted to, after the uh, biography is done, I wanted to collaborate with other pimps to basically sit up there and for one book, many books within one book. When you look in the Bible, what do you see? From the book of Romans to Hebrews, you see that the author is the Apostle Paul. Before that, you had the apostles, you know, writing the so-called gospel. Before that, you have the book of the prophets. From Malachi to the gospel, there's 400 years of silence. But after that 400 years of silence, even though they say Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but historically, that's not in order, but it's okay. It's in order of wisdom. It's in order of the spirit of wisdom. So it's all right. God does everything decently in order. So, you know, the same way that there are different authors of different books within one book, just imagine one book having different authors of different books within one book that was all about the pimping. Just imagine if you went to one book, they're gone, but I have to sit up there and mention their names because they're so honorable. But just imagine if Joe Cato was here. Just imagine if I could sit down with Joe Cato, if I could sit down with Joe Langford, if I could sit down with the original Johnny Moe, if I could sit down with Gene Morton, if I could sit down, you know what I mean, with uh, Andre Taylor, if I could sit down with Mel Taylor, if I could sit down with Salisbury, you know what I mean? If I could sit down with Jimmy Valentine and I was able to sit down with the Magnificent Seven and all of them each individually wrote a book. If I could sit down with Freeze and I could sit, get all of these beautiful minds to come on one accord and write a book separately. And all of those books was in one, one book. And then I could create a movement where I have raised up young speakers, young preachers, young teachers of this game to where I don't have to teach. I don't have to preach all the time. Why? Because I've indoctrinated the minds of the youth and they full of the game. These are real bona fide, authentic peas that come together on one day uh, of the week 
or whenever they can because, you know, pimps be pimping. And, you know, if we came together on one accord and the pimping basically came together and while we were on one accord, I had the peas in their youth teaching the new ones that just came in the game about this game. That was one of my thoughts, and it's still one of my thoughts. And I got other thoughts that's even greater than that. But I can't even share that with you. Because it ain't the appointed time. But that's just a tip of the iceberg of when I sit down and I think on how could we make the game better. Because after I die, or Freeze die, or Dre die, or if Freeze got into music and that took off, Dre got political on us and because of his political position, spiritual position, he wasn't able to do, you know, the weekly fires anymore. Because of my transformation, I wasn't able to do this like this anymore. But you always have that book. And because of the movement, you always have teachers and preachers, young, informative representatives of this game conveying the game to the newcomers, the new up and coming of the game. This is a great way to keep the youth out of jail. This is a great way to keep the youth encouraged, to keep the older encouraged. You know what I mean? This is a great way. I've even created ways in the back of my certain things I can't say because we on YouTube. But I even got way came up with ways to, for the older peas who didn't preside over their mon money wisely or fresh out of jail or prison, they came back to nothing. That pimp that we knew that was a straight up pimp, just like, for example, I just throw his name out there. There's a P that's currently locked up, temporarily locked up by the name of Johnny Baritz. Okay, Johnny Baritz is the cousin of Charm who y'all, some of you seen in American Pimp. And, you know, wouldn't it be such a blessing, you know what I mean, if when Johnny Baritz got out, you know what I mean, I had presiding over a movement and the peas came together on one accord and took up a, 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 a little, some money, and we was able to put five or 10, you know what I mean, 20,000, in Johnny Barrett's hand, putting him in position to get back, you know what I mean, in the game right. And the same way we treated this P, if it ever happened to me or this P, we'd do the same thing. Come on, man. I think like that. I know everybody not like-minded. You know what I mean? But it's okay. It wasn't for you to be like-minded. This probably won't be my last time uh, speaking on um, this I'm pretty sure I'll speak on it some other time but how could we make the game better in all simplicity is by being men how could we make the game better by y'all being women because in order for you because to be a male or a female that's nothing you was born a male you was born a female, but to become a man, become a woman, you got to graduate to that. You got to earn that. That's a position. And if you can do what's vital to the title of a man, if you can do what's vital to the title of a woman. And then once you learn the correct definition of what a pimp is and what a hoe is and understanding that you got to be a man before you're a pimp, understanding that you have to be a woman before you're a hoe. And you can do what's vital to the titles that you profess to be. That's how we can make the game better. By having character. By having love. By having respect and honor for the participants of the game. The same way we would want the participants of the game to honor and respect and love us. This won't be the last time I speak of this, but I appreciate you guys. Make sure that you hit channels. And you subscribe to all the channels. I thank you for putting up with me. I know some of y'all wanted to go to sleep. You know what I mean? But you thugged it out with me, man. 
You know, the signal was messing up. We went from 400 to 300, knocking us to 285. We had to climb back up. It's 319 in the morning, and y'all sitting over here watching this game. I appreciate you. I love you. I thank you for that. And for those that want to speak to me by myself, ladies, you can do that. It's not just for pimps, not just for Max, not just for players, not just for gangsters, not just for squares. You know, but it's for the ladies, too. And ladies, if you would like to have private consultation uh, with me, by all means, uh, go to uh, www.sinfultheep.net. And as soon as you see the consultation button, click on it. Make you an appointment. And whenever I get uh, availability on my itinerary, we will speak immediately. You know what I mean? Hold on. Let me do this for you. Because I'm going to give you one more chance, brother. Okay, I'm going to let you slide with that one. You know what I mean? But if you keep on going, I'm going to have to get rid of you because you're saying a bunch of nonsense. Make sure, before I go, for those that haven't liked this video, make sure you like this video. You know what I mean? So for the ladies and the strippers, y'all been messing with me. Thank you for that. I've been getting more of uh, the ladies. You know, I mean, the strippers always wait till I'm off the live to get my DM to say something. But it'd be nice if a lot of these pretty faces make themselves known. I don't want to make myself known. I don't want all your little guys getting at me. You know how you be. You be putting the guys on the ladies and stuff. That's right. Because I'm a blessing to this game. Um, but I want you uh, ladies to go to www.sinfuel. T-H-E-P dot net and hit the consultation button, make an appointment. And fellas, you can do the same as well. I'm just talking uh, to the ladies. But make sure if you haven't done it, make sure that you subscribe to all my channels. After this is over, I, show, I showed you how to subscribe to all my channel. Another thing that will make us bigger as a family is if you share this on Facebook, share this on Instagram, and just because you made a million comments in the comment section when we was live, another thing that would be grateful to the game is if you give your positive or negative opinion or, you know, who am I to say is negative? But whether you like the video or dislike the video, please make it known within the comment section after I end the video. And to my mods, if you see comments that you dislike, that you see as disrespectful, it is what it is. Don't don't uh, block the person or don't delete the statement because always remember that that negative comment will lead to other individuals responding which will basically cause more comments in the comment section because people gravitate to negativity so let the negative stay there but you know i mean just some game but uh i love you guys i will talk to you later uh hopefully i'll be later uh i'll be live later on today if i'm not uh live uh later on today then i will catch you at another time but i love you guys stay blessed make sure you subscribe to my blade music videos channel man we were supposed to be over a thousand subscribers by now and uh get my instagram live videos up man you know what i mean i'm putting classics on there all the time but i love you guys talk to you later oh yeah let me promote my brothers uh go to freeze f-r-e-e-z-e-i-z-i-t and you can hit the subscribe and bell over there. Bro has a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of wisdom. Uh, he's another individual that is striving to make the game better. Uh, by all means, go subscribe to my brother. That's my right-hand man. Uh, and to my big brother from another mother, you can put in Andre Taylor with Gorgeous Dre. And um, when you put in Andre Taylor, you know what I mean, a Gorgeous Dre, you're going to see that subscribe button. You're going to see that uh, bell button. Please click on that for me. And how we can make this game better another way is when you see Freeze uh, taking out, you know what I mean, time to uh, make music and you know he's talented and you know it's a lot of individuals in the game that's really not uh, on the same wavelength as Freeze as far as talent is concerned. Let's promote those that's authentic and that really have talent, such as Freeze. So by all means, share all the Freeze music, like all the Freeze music videos. Why? 
Because when you support Freeze, you support the game. Why did I tell you to like all Andre Taylor's videos? Because when you like his videos, when you support him, you support the game. I love y'all. Be blessed. I hope you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live.